sister. There's always him and Moses' and sister. Let's see. So we're going to say um, Shalom, and the brother Ali is going to say As Assalamu Alaikum. So we got myself here. Um, Taza Yawan. Taza Yawan, brother Ali, and brother Naichi. So, you know, we just, you know, as Hebrew Israelites, we just want clarity on why a so called black man in America would be a Muslim. I myself, let me first say this. Let me give you some historical background now. I myself have been through many different schools of thought. I started off in the nations of gods and earths. Some of you may refer to them as a 5% nation. From there, I studied in Dr. York's community back when it was on Bushwick Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. He had his own community there. He also had another one in um, Monticello, New York, prior to moving out to Eaton, Georgia. Now, also, I was with the Nation of Islam when the brother Khalid Muhammad was alive. I used to go to the march over in Jersey, in Trenton, and also March number seven in New York. You know, still in the same place. Um, and I also was actually in mainstream Islam, and I studied with some well-renowned so-called Islamic scholars. I used to attend a masjid with Imam Saraj Wahaj. Um, I'm affiliated with Bilal Phillips out of Canada. Um, and I actually also study with many sheiks like in Kansas and the masjid out there, and a lot of sheiks that actually came from Mecca, um, people that were supposedly well learned in Islam. And I had a brother um, by the name of Magic Khan that was actually teaching me the Arabic and how to read the Quran in Arabic. And at the time, you know, um, I was in the military, so I actually um, used my knowledge of Islam to put in a conscientious objective and got out of the military. Now, my question, you know, um, there's a lot, you know, I know that you know, brother, there's a lot of so-called um, black Americans that's com converted over to Islam, what they refer to, you know, as a religion of Islam, which is supposed to be a religion peace. of peace, which I have... Uh, a, 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 a lot of questions with that in general because there's no people more so like those that's in Islam that are literally strap themselves with bombs and go out and kill sometimes tens or hundreds of peoples at once and they, their belief is that you know um, if they die for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they would actually give virgins to the paradise. That's one question that I had. Now, the next question is that if you so-called blacks, and this is for all you so-called blacks in America, under the sound of my voice right now, that's converted over to Islam, remember, you're talking to someone that was actually in it. I paid the zakat. I followed the sunnah of Rasul Allah. Muhammad. Um, I made the prayers, the five daily prayers, and the two extra prayers. Um, you know, I study the Sharia, which is the Islamic law. I study the most authentic hadith. Now, many of you um, just coming into Islam, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But the most authentic hadith is Sahih Bakari. And after that, the next supposedly authentic hadith is Sahih Muslim. Supposedly, these hadith was actually passed down from portion to portion, and they were so-called never tampered with. So, if something is not proven by Al-Quran, Muslims, the ones that's learned going to the most authentic hadith, Sahih Bakari and Sahih Muslim. So, what we're going to do today, myself and Brother Tazo Yawar, is we're going to raise some questions to our Islamic brothers, and try to you know get some understanding because one of the things that actually caused me to leave Islam is when I done research the crimes of Prophet Muhammad that's often not talked about. 
the things that he actually done, I just found that unbearable for me to continue to follow someone like that. Another question that I raise is that most people that claim to follow Allah seem to be Muhammadism, meaning they follow Muhammad more than they follow Allah. Yet, the Quran tells them not to set up partners with Allah. But if my question also, and I hope that the brothers could address these questions, is, is that if you are supposed to be following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then why must you do what Muhammad did if you know the true life of Muhammad? So what we're going to bring out today, we're going to use the Quran. We have a tour here in case we need it. Um, and we're going to use hadiths. I'm going to quote. I don't have my book of hadiths with me, but I have some notes here. I'm going to quote from the most authentic hadiths, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Um, you know, um, and I want to start that, you know, by saying that Muslims can be sanctified by the blood of Catholics. Now, Brother Ali knows what that means. Brother Najib knows what that means, but many people listening may not know what that means. So I'm going to elaborate on the word Catholic and exactly what that means. And when I say that Muslims could actually be sanctified by the blood of Catholics, this can actually be expressed by the way that many would strap themselves with bombs and walk into a marine compound and just blow everyone up. And he is actually praised for killing those people. So let's look at the Sharia and look at the word kafir, um, Sharia law. Now, a kafir, what they tell you is that a kafir means a non believer. It, it, you know, they refer, in the translation versions, they'll tell you that a kafir is a non believer. But when you look at the word in the Arabic, the kafir, from kafirun, means those who conceal what they know to be true. So a kafir is the worst kind of person. They hate kafirs. Now, when we look at it in Sharia, um, again, which is the Muslim law, all non-Muslims are considered to be non-believers. A kafir. Is that right, Brother Ali? Yes, sir. If you're not a Muslim, you're considered to be a kafir. The word non-Muslim when you look in Sharia law, is kaf is the Arabic word kaf, but the word means more than just a non-Muslim. The original meaning of the word was concealer, concealer, one who conceals the truth of Islam. Now, if you guys disagree with me, you can stop me. So that means that all of us that do not believe in Islam, brother Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Point blank period um, Or nine believers And we pretty much deserve to die This is according to Islam Now again I study Islam For approximately um, Ten years um, I study Sahih Bukhari I study Sahih Muslim um, I studied the Sharia, I gave zakat, I made dawah, I brought a lot of people into Islam by giving dawah, um, I made the five daily prayers, um, and I made Juma, because they teach in Islam that if you do not make Juma, the strike goes against you. So it is mandatory for a man to make Juma. But my point for referencing this is that I'm not easily to see. Now, non-Muslims, this is my question, Brother Eliezer, especially the so-called black Muslim. I call them so-called because they're not black. They're Moors or they're Hebrews or the Egyptians or something of that nature. Because black is not nationality. So you gotta, you know, you gotta link yourself to some sort of nationality. You being a Muslim is not nationality. That's just a religion. That has nothing to do with nationality. So, and I want you to think, every brother that is a Muslim, if they're following 
Islam from its true sense. Now, I'm not talking about the nation of Islam, not to disrespect anyone in the nation of Islam, but you just start recently making prayers because I, when I was in the nation of Islam, it was not mandatory for you to make daily prayers. You didn't have to make prayers five times a day. You said that that's following the pearl ears, but these are the fundamentals of Islam. Um, making five daily prayers, um, giving zakat to the poor, and making at least one pilgrimage to Mecca in your lifetime, if you can afford it. And if I'm saying anything wrong, I'm sure my Muslim brothers will um, stop me. So, you know, my question, Brother Ali, to so-called blacks this Muslim, the Quran says that the kafir See, tell me if I'm wrong. The Quran says that the kafir, mean a non-believer, Brother Eliezer, I want you to hear me, man. The Quran says that the kafir, meaning a non-believer, can be deceived, can be deplotted against, can be hated, can be enslaved, can be mocked, mm. can be tortured. Dang. So that means all of us non-believers. That means a Hebrew Israelite, that means a Christian, that means a Hindu, that means anybody that's not in Islam. This is true, man. This is the Quran. So the word, again, is usually translated as a non-believer or a disbeliever. And again, that translation is wrong because the word unbeliever is logically and emotionally neutral. Why, yes, kafir is the most abusive, the most prejudiced, and the most hateful word in any language. Now I'm going to. Um, okay, where do you want me to address that? Yes. Sure. Okay. Now or? Well, let me continue a little bit. Let me okay. finish this on Catholic. So, what I want to do now is teach the brothers and sisters that has actually um, become Muslims, um, or I actually just want to raise some questions in your mind once I get down to the Prophet Muhammad and some of the things that he has done, my question is why would you continue to follow someone um, in this faith if this man has actually orchestrated such things? That's my point that I want to raise. And I'm not going to use the Bible. I'm going to use your very own books to prove it. Your most authentic hadiths, Sahih Bakari, Sahih Muslims, and the Quran. I'm going to use that. And then you're in the valley of decision. But we're just here for an intelligent dialogue, not to insult anyone, but to just question you, why would you be a Muslim and follow Prophet Muhammad after knowing these things? And I also want you to answer the questions, are you not taught to hate all non-believers? Does the Quran not say that? Can you not use um, usury and what so on and so forth, to a non-believer, which is a kafir. So, there are many religious names for kafirs, polytheists, mm -hmm. idolaters, people of the book. When they refer to people of the book, they're referring to the Israelites and the Christians. Those are the people of the book. They say it at Afatiha, the prayer, the opening. Mm -hmm. It says it at the end of Afatiha. I'll get to that. Wow. Um, so, what wow. Muhammad said and did pretty much is what Muslims follow because that's what most of the hadiths is about. So Islam devotes a great amount of energy to the kafir. Now, some people will deny that, but I'm going to prove it. The majority, approximately 64% of the Quran is devoted to kafir, meaning nine believer. And nearly all of Sarah which is about the life of Prophet Muhammad, his life, the life of the Prophet Muhammad, deals with, you know, struggling with them. So Muhammad's life pretty much could be like an epic story. He was an orphan that was actually raised in poverty and became the ruler of Arabia. He created a new religion, new methods of war, and a new political system, including a legal code known as Sharia, which is Islamic law. So Muhammad, many say was, you know, many Muslims would say he was the world's greatest warrior. Now, 
today, Brother Tazawan, no one is waging war in the name of Caesar. No one is waging war in the name of Alexander the Greek. No one is waging war in the name of Napoleon, but there's plenty of people that is raising war in the name of Muhammad. Mm. No other military leader do, are they, you know, waging war in the name of him, but you, sit, you have Muslims all over that's waging war in the name of the Prophet Muhammad and emulating a lot of the things that we see in these TVs. Now, every year, many people die because of the one that they refer to as the Prophet Muhammad. After over 14 years ago, this man lived over 14 years ago, but people will still die in the name of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, today, Islam, you must know the life of the Prophet Muhammad. Every Muslim is supposed to desire his life to be akin to the Prophet Muhammad. Is that right, Brother Ali? Or are we not supposed to follow, um, if we're Muslims, are we not supposed to follow his example? Is that not what um, Sahih Bakari teaches in Sahih Muslim? Or are we not supposed to wear our pants so that they will touch our ankles um, or on the day of Yama Kayama, our ankles, on the day of judgment, our ankles will actually burn in the hellfire eternally. Why? Because the Prophet Muhammad did that. So every Muslim is supposed to emulate what he did if you are a good Muslim. So you're not essentially following Quran, you are actually becoming Muhammadans. What Muhammad did is what the Muslims are supposed to do. So the religion of Islam is not about, essentially, from what I have researched and from the time that I was in it, it's not about worshiping Allah, it is about worshiping Muhammad. The Mohammedans. Now, I, I made a bold statement, now I'm going to prove it. Now, you have Hadiths, which is the sayings of men. You know, the Hadith tradition devotes 32% of its text to the Kafirs, to the non-believers. But don't believe me, go and check it out for yourself. So, overall, you have about 60% between the Quran the Sarah, which is about the life of Muhammad, and the Hadith that talks about the nine believers, the Kafirs. So most of it is about nine believers. Tells you how to deal with them. Tells you how to interact with them. The Hadith is approximately 35, 37% about non-believers, the Kafirs. The Sarah is about 81% about dealing with nine believers. The Quran is approximately 64% about dealing with non-believers. And when you do the math on those, so between those three, you have 60% of the text is devoted on non-believers, people that don't believe in Islam. The Sharia does not devote nearly as much to the non-believers, um, since the Sharia law is primarily for Muslims. It don't apply to us non-believers. Now besides, the Kafir has few rights. So, there's little to expand on in the Sharia. Because Kafirs have very, very little rights, according to Islamic teachings. Now Muslims teach that the religion of Islam is what make Muslims go to paradise. Is that right, Brother Ali? Following Islam is what make you to go to paradise, right? Is that correct? But Ali? No, sir. No, no? No. So, I could be a Hebrew Israelite and make it into paradise. Sure you can. What? Do you Absolutely. agree with that, Brother Najee? Yeah. Sure you can make it in paradise as okay. a Hebrew Israelite. Well, Absolutely. according to the Islam that I taught by these um, sheiks and these um, imams. Well, really, I don't have to be a... Muslim to make it. So, if I'm not a Muslim, am I not a non-believer? Are you asking a question, brother? That's a question. Let if I'm not a Muslim... Let me step... I can answer the question. All right. Let me answer the question. So, the first question is about the, about the non-believers, the Catholic. Wow. Right. 
first of all, when, when you read Quran, when you read the Quran, Brother Elazar, Brother Tazadah, Brother Keith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah al baqarah that those who believe, whether they be Hebrews, Christians, Sabians, those who believe, he says, and obey the laws and statutes and the commandments of Allah SWT. Is a paradise awaiting for them. Now, so let me just wait, say wait, that. wait. I have me being a prior Muslim. I totally disagree with that. Really? Because it goes against the, 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 the fertile. No, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, Well, let me finish, and then you prove that the Quran doesn't say what I just said, because the Quran does say that, and and it doesn't, and it does not go against the Al Fatiha. Now, let me finish. You can't find nowhere in the teachings of Islam. You know about this, you know, the Al Fatiha. I mean, in the um, you said the Kufa, the Kafirs, who was non-believers. Look, then apparently you're not a Kafir because you're a Hebrew, Israelite. We Muslims believe in all the Hebrew prophets as believers in the same God. So you, you're not a Kafir. Those who say that they believe in Isa salam, or Yahshua ben Yosef, today they call him Jesus Christ. The ones who, the, the ones who they, they follow, the Christians, they believe in Allah. We know that there's no such thing as you know Christianity is not a religion of God. We know there's, there's no such thing as the Trinity, and He's not God. We know all that, but they believe in God. So Islam says we believe in all the prophets of Allah known and unknown and we make no distinguishes between them none there's no major and minor prophet in Islam Allah has already every message Allah gave to his prophets they are equally meaningful to the Muslim there's no one no, no, no message is better than the other message this minor and mediocre and major prophet language that you hear in in, in West and Christian now, the question about, I think you made a comment about, uh, about getting into paradise. Is, he said, my brother Tazadak said, he said, I heard what he just said about something, you know, is it true that, you know, that you have to get into paradise if you know this and that? Everyone heard what he said. Look, do you know what gets you into paradise we say in Islam? You know what gets you in the paradise? The ultimate decisor is Allah. You know what gets you into paradise? His mercy. It is His mercy that gets you. That's the final decision. It is His mercy that gets you into the kingdom. Now, he made another comment about the violence in Islam. How violent the religion is. Throughout the history of Islam. You know, look, what what religion on or, or what they call religion didn't start off violent. Have you studied the Hebrew history? Hebrews wasn't playing back in the day. Moshe alayhi salam, he defended, he believed in Yahweh so much that he kept, that defended he didn't he, had, he didn't have to defend the law. The Creator, no. But Musa alayhi salam, Moshe alayhi salam, he killed a man, according to the this description. Now, so when when my brother said that in the name they're fighting in the name of 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 the violence in, in the name of Muhammad in the name of Muhammad in the name of Muhammad. Thafur, Thafur Allah, we're not fighting in the name of. Muhammad. Muhammad is just a mortal man, a human being, a prophet, just like Isa, Musa, Ibrahim, 
and all the other Hebrew Israelite prophets. And, and in truth, what sensible Muslim around the earth will fight, as my brother Tazadak was saying, that will fight the violence, the violence in Islam? Look, who have been more violent? I can show a scripture. One of the most, and he did this in the name of Allah, in the name of Yahshua, I mean in the name of Yahweh. Yahweh Shah. You, his name is Joshua. He did it in the name of Yahweh. He was a hitman. Today, if you read the book of Joshua, he was a hitman. There's, four, there's four terms that's being mentioned in the book of Joshua. Four terms, over and over and over. Ready? Slew, slay, slew, slay. I told you, him and King David, right. they, were, they were hitmen. Four men. Slew and slay, smite and smoke. Those four terms, all through. That's four. You know what all? You know what those four mean? To kill you. Now, yeah, I, I, oh, hold on. Let me I'm finish, brother. Hold, hold, hold okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, just go drag it out too. Okay, hold on, brother. Let me. Going. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me finish. Well, let me finish. There's not even a Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Joshua. Elias. A uh, Joshua. A Hebrew Israelite prophet. When, when, when Yahweh told him to go into the city, he said, kill everything. Don't leave nothing alive. Men, women, children, everybody, in the name of God. Today, the average person that reads the book of Isaiah, just on the merit of him killing people, it would, he would be deemed, as you said, a mass murderer. But forgetting that he did it in the name of his Lord, in the name of Yahweh, by his permission. So when he say that Muslims are violent and going around the world killing in the name of Muhammad, which is false, that's a lie. That's a fact. Any faith on earth, look, I'm not in, in Palestine. I'm not in Syria. Never been there. I never been to Iraq. I never been to Afghanistan. Look. All this social media, the Muslims are shouting Allahu Akbar and strapping bombs and suicide. Killing themselves, suicide. Today. Now, any sensible person knows that Islam forbids suicide. That is haram in Islam. That is something that these people are doing for, for the last fanatical extreme in defense of what they're fighting for, whatever is in their mind. But that has nothing to do with the, with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad never told nobody to strap a bomb and, to yourself and go kill up and kill innocent people. <clears throat> because that's against I'm sunnah. I'm going to show you where he did. In, 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 in the Quran. Now, another truth. This topic of not just the strapping a bomb and suicide, killing innocent people, killing themselves. Look, when you read the Torah, under the law of Moshe, alayhi salam. Just, just for you disrespecting your children, the children disrespecting their parents, the punishment was death. I can show you so many Hebrew laws in Torah that the children today, if, they, if, 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 if the Hebrew Israelites practice to the letter, the Mosaic or the Musha law, for their disrespect to their parents in this nation, there wouldn't be no children walking around. Nope. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. so, That's true. So, so when you say that Islam is a violent religion, as they, as they say, and that the Prophet Muhammad, I think I read, and he said something on the top. Look, what prophet, even, even, even Yahshua ben Yosef, he talked, in, 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 the, in the gospel, the good news, in the angel, he even made four strong statements. He said, whosoever dishonoring their father and mother, let them die the death. He was calling the stiff-necked, rebellious children of Israel. He, was, he said, I'm quoting, he was calling them vipers, snakes. Adulterers. He was getting on them, putting some fire. He was putting some. That's that. As, you, as the brother said to me before, he was the, the, 
he was hitting him with that sword, meaning that truth coming from his tongue, not the physical sword. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so when I hear my brother say things, and he has an argument, but you have to look at this thing from the scope. You can't say what faith didn't start off violent. The Christian religion, the Hebrews, Islam, you can't uh, equate the true teachings of a, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and equate that to the behavior of those who say they follow it if they're doing contrary to it. You can't, you can't blame the teachings because those who say they follow it do the opposite. Then should you say, well, the teachings ain't no good? Is the Torah ain't no good? Is the Quran ain't no good? Is Allah, is Muhammad ain't no good? Because they do what the opposite of what Muhammad has taught? Now, and let me, let me just say this too about the hadiths he said. That these authentic hadiths he, he talks about. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. See, what he didn't mention, when you study the life of, of Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, by the way, they weren't Arabs. They was born in the seventh, eighth century in what they call today Iran and Syria, who who copied who copied the hadiths. They was not living during the time of the Prophet. They did, they was not part of the right. Sahiba. Hold on, the, 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 right. the, the Sahaba. So now, not saying that what they wrote all in the hadiths are not accurate. Or not true. It's not what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. When I read the hadiths, in any spiritual man, when you read it, when a man is copying something, centuries old. Now, when you can produce the hadiths of the Sahaba, who is with the Prophet. Which they say, some of our scholars say that those hadiths, some of them are in Sudan. Some say they're in Yemen. Some say they're in Saudi. I have never seen them. But for over the years, I've been trying to get my hands on the, the, the closest, the, the hadiths of the Sahaba and the people who lived with the Prophet and knew the Prophet and walked with the Prophet. So, and we also know that there's thousands and thousands and thousands of hadiths that's false. We also know, is another truth, we also know that just because somebody hears something, someone said, well, you know, I heard that the hadiths I'm talking, they're writing hadiths. Well, I heard something. Just because somebody said they heard something, that doesn't, that doesn't mean it's true. But I got one question for you, Brother Ali. Go. Or not Muslims supposed to follow Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim? Yes, they are. You being a Muslim. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, let, let me ask you a question. Are those? Let not me answer, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay, ideas. listen, listen. Sahih Bukhari. No, that's Sahih question. Muslim. Yes. The answer to your question is yes. Right. Now, however, there's many other hadiths. But if, those if, are if not as as Sahih. No, I can't but say. Bukhari being for, no. That's no, according. That, no, the, I, brother, I said yes. This is according I, to your I, own. I years. answered your question. Yes. I'm talking about your own higher. Brother, I'm an, yes. Now, here's, but but hear me out. Just let me speak, brother. What I'm saying to you is that there's many other hadiths. So the answer to your question is yes. There's many other hadiths. Ibn Majah. Ibn yeah, Majah, but those Ibn those are not Termin, considered to be see, but, see, something that you could actually follow. They claim that Bakari, the same that you're saying about the others. Right. They claim that. Bacardi was so guarded that it was passed down and it was not tampered with. And the note, the next most authentic hadith is Sahih Muslim, supposedly passed down from person to person, and there's no mistranslation. No. That's what they teach. Well, okay, well, okay brother, I know that. What, what I, okay, listen. What I'm saying to you is that I read the hadith, Rahi. Well, I read them all, trust me. And many others. You have a hadith called. Hadith Qudsi. Is that right, brother? Hadith Qudsi. Now that means that that's like that hadith almost almost was like given to him literally by Allah. Right. That's what that means. Now, 
I'm saying this for the record. I've been saying it for 25 years. I have read hadiths in Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Like the one I pointed out earlier and I said, they say that the Prophet Muhammad is, they say, and this is what's written and all through it. I can show it to you right now. It says, Holy Prophet, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, the Holy Prophet. Now, I know that's not true. That's false. Nowhere in the Quran and nowhere did the Prophet Muhammad ever say he was holy. There's only one holy one, and that's Allah. Is that correct, Brother Najib? That's true. That's true. Now, so when you read hadith, you have to let, when the Spirit of Allah comes upon you, let your spirit be your God. And when you read something, your spirit will resonate with you, man. Is this, is this al haq Is this truth? Or, or, or is this man's, he's putting his own interpretation in. Like, like, like the prophet Jeremiah said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8. When he was talking about the Hebrew, the scribes. That they, they, write, they, they, take, they think of things of their own. And they write these things with their own pen in hand, according to the prophet Jeremiah. Salam, peace be upon him. So we have the same problem in Islam. Just because someone writes something about the Prophet's life and what he did, that doesn't mean it's true. But that's not our argument. Okay, our okay, argument what's the argument? It's not Muslims obligated to follow the hadith. It's a simple question. I, I said yes. And that's yes, they are. Absolutely. So that's yes. my point. I just wanted okay. to solidify so, my point. Okay, I answered the question. Now I think you mentioned something else. You were saying, I was trying to get step by step the comments you was making about, about Quran. Um, well, I'm going to go back into the believers when you're done because I'm going to show you a believer is not what I'll be saying. If you're not learning, it's not. The law, the, if you're not. No, 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 no. Say it again. What, what was the question? When you, when you're trying to, mm -hmm. like, um, you're, you're kind of like casting the delusion to these two because they don't know what a true believer is in Islam. Mm -hmm. okay. You're saying that simply because we read the book, we're believers. That's a lie, man. No, 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 that's no, 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 no. They're not considered to be believers. No, no. The Quran said. This is what I said. I'm quoting Quran. Now you take it up with Allah. The Quran says those who believe. I think. You said what Muslims? Those who believe hold on, hold on. Though. Those who believe in Allah, the books, the scriptures. You know, like you believe in the Torah and Isa, alayhi salam. We believe in the Torah and Isa too. So those who believe, those who believe, it mentions Christians, Jews, Sabians. What's the other one? Okay. But the first thing, Ali, to become a believer in Islam, you have to take a shahada. Shahada. That's true. So, so how come you're not telling them that? Okay. Because if you don't take a shahada. You're not considered to be Muslim, okay. and you are non-believer. Okay, listen. So technically, I'm a non-believer. No, 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 brother. No, so no, you're, no. You're, you're playing semantics no, with no, it. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm being straight. Listen, no. if you listen. Hey, brother, you're trying to make it seem like just because I'm we saying, believe in the Bible and no, no, the Torah, the, 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 the Torah we're believers. I'm saying, I'm saying according to the teachings and the principles of Islam and what the Quran says, what you see, the point you're missing is that when you say... Well, Islam says that you're not a believer unless you take the, the shahada. When you take the claim of shahada, when you, if you don't say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that means right. that, that, that you don't believe in Allah. And but it you makes you, you a non-believer. In, in, in that sense, it makes you a non-believer. In that sense. However, what is a non-believer? A non-believer is those people who don't believe in Allah. There you go. It's, right. it's one who does do, not submit his will to the will do you, of Allah. Do you believe in, 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 in Allah? No, I don't believe in Allah. No, I'm saying, do I you believe? believe in Yahweh. Hold on, okay. Do, okay, so, but, well, well, we say Allah and Yahweh is the same God in Islam. That's what we say. And also in the Aramaic language, which is Yahshua ben Yosef, Isa alayhi salam, or the one whom they call Jesus the Christ, in the Aramaic language, they say, according to the Hebrew scholars and the Christian scholars, that that was his native tongue, Aramaic. And they say that he was bilingual. Nah, that's bilingual. a lie. Hold that's on, wait, lie. wait, I'm just telling you what they say. I know that. Now, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. In the Semitic tongue, and he, so, 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 Yahshua didn't speak Aramaic. No, I'm not Hebrew saying okay. he spoke Aramaic. He spoke okay. several languages. Yeah, not, okay, not, no, okay, now which saying, one is it? We're not saying was he, he didn't. Okay, so he did speak Aramaic. Yeah, we're not saying he did. Okay, okay, so he only spoke Hebrew, but did he only speak one language? Aramaic is not Aramaic. That's not, I know that. So I, but, but, okay, well, I understand that. I'm asking, did he speak 
just only Hebrew. Now, brother, no, he spoke several. He spoke, sure he thank spoke, you. He spoke Greek. He was in no, okay. Well, hold on, wait. Exactly. Right, wait. Uh, so, so he, so, so he spoke. He spoke Aramaic. Now, according to every Hebrew scholar, uh, and but Christian we scholar, don't say that's his native tongue. No, no, no. Can, I'm telling you. That, wait a minute. But, I'm telling you. I'm not saying that is that is his native tongue. Okay. I'm not saying he it either. Every I'm Hebrew saying, squad, like, I'm they saying, don't say that. Okay, hold on a minute. What I've studied about the Semitic languages in what they call the East, what is modern day Israel today, which is Palestine, or it was Palestine, which is is what, what they named Israel, by the way. What they call the Middle East. In that era, Syria, there's a language called Aramaic, yeah. and it's a script in Aramaic. That's yeah. a fact. Right. Now According to, yeah, like listen, Aramaic. according to the people of that region, Muslims who I know from Syria, from Iraq, I've been known for 30 years, they said to me that the Aramaic, the Semitic tongue, was the tongue of Esau, of Yahshua ben Yosef, that he spoke that language also. In fact, they even went to the stream and he says, brother, in that part of the world, it's natural to speak two, three, four, five languages. Just, you grow up doing that. Right. Now, so in the Aramaic language, which Yahshua spoke, and he spoke Hebrew or whatever, and Greek, another language he spoke. But they spoke Arabic oh, also. Oh, okay, let me finish. In the Aramaic language, the name for God is Allah. In the Aramaic language. That's a fact. Yeah. Now, also... But that's because of I, captivity, like uh, they call uh, him God in but, America. But, but, the reason that they spoke that is because but, we was in captivity... To these damn Arabs before we was to Esau. I understand that, but the, but the, but that's the, what he spoke. I understand that, beloved. But but the point I'm making is, mm -hmm. I don't want you to to, to, to no to, to tell my brother Elazar, my brother here, that 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 if that, that, that I'm looking at them as non-believers because I because I don't see you as a non-believer. He's speaking but on a solo. But, but you'll be no, going I'm, no, you're speaking you're as going an individual. No, I'm not going against Islam. I, I, I'll prove that you do. Okay, what are on. the five pillars of Islam? What are the five pillars of Islam? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Yeah. Prayer. Mm -hmm. Zakat. Yeah. Of course, you know, <laughs> charity. And then, of course, uh, the, 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 and the fast, the, the, the fast, and the and the and the pilgrims. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I'm saying, but what what? How, how could you prove? Because I believe in those five pillars. That no, that because, a non-believer that I don't that no, I don't look at them as non-believers. Because the first pillar of Islam. No, no, the this first pillar. The, the first pillar doesn't listen. In general, look, brother. Of course, of the, course, do you of course, in, you don't do believe. You believe in Muhammad? No. He can't be Muslim. Okay, well watch this. He's not Muslim. He's well, not a believer. Okay, okay, hold on, stop. He okay, he okay, he okay, he okay, he doesn't believe in Muhammad. First pillar this hold on, no, 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 no. La ilaha is Allah. La. Muhammad or Rasulullah. La. La. I bear witness there's no God right. but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Right. Yeah. Apostle. Just because he doesn't, he doesn't believe, believe in it. Okay, he no, doesn't believe in it. Okay, watch so this. So we're considered to be Kafirs. No, no, no. So no, you're playing semantics. No, I'm not. Brother, if you listen to what I'm saying. Brother, when you read the Fatih, brother, I read the Fatih. Okay, so then. You know, I knew that Fatih. That the last verse in a Fatih. It talks about those who went astray. Who's that talking about? Now, it's talking about, yeah, that's it. So that can't be a Muslim. Brother, I mean, that's not brother, a Muslim. Brother, brother, first, of all, not first of all, 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 the Hebrew, Abraham came before Muhammad. Mm -hmm. right. Moses came before Muhammad. Mm -hmm. right. Esau came before Muhammad. Right. Is that correct? Right. Is that correct? Esau. Right. Okay, no, stay with me. Call Esau. He came Esau. All of them. Esau. Name. Esau. Esau, Yahshua ben Yosef, Yahshua, came, 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 came before Muhammad. So no, bro, 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 is that correct? He no. said East, oh, that, that all these prophets came before the prophet Muhammad. Is that correct? Okay, now, so here's the proof. Okay, hold on a minute. Here's the proof that since the prophet was the last prophet who came on the scene, when we look at the Hebrew scriptures, we Muslims, we say, that we believe in the same God that Moses was worshiping. Oh, let me stop. And here. Jacob. Hold on, brother. Let me finish. We believe in this David. We believe in Abraham. Of course you do. We believe in Esau and Muhammad. Of course you now, do. Now, 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 since now, since we believe in all the prophets and all his revelations, I'm talking about Hebrew scriptures, the books of David. Well, you books of you're, you're playing some Brother, if you let me finish, you, if you, you teach that the Bible, do they not teach that the Bible? Brother, sure we do, and right. we can prove it. But, let, right. but let me let, let, let me finish. 
Hey, you've been We're saying, saying for the longest, but you're not giving me a chance. I'm giving you to crush everything okay, that you're saying. Okay, okay, well, okay, no, no, I want you to crush it. Listen, no, 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 I want you to crush it because because you ain't get a fight today. Man, so what I'm speak. saying? No, let hold on, let you no, no, let me speak, and then you, then you can speak. Like hold, hold, hold up, brother. I, you, but it was your introduction, so let me make this last point. Don't let you stop. Yeah, but you're, you're bringing up things okay. that I wasn't even speaking of. Brother, yes, I'm staying on the topic. You, you're saying. That I'm talking about Moses. I never listen. No, no. I'm saying I'm that about Islam. I, I'm getting to the point, brother. Since the Prophet Muhammad came last, and we believe in all the revelations that came before it, so if we can believe in the in the Torah, why is it and we necessary? believe it's for it's a message for all humanity. No, why is it necessary? For the whole, it's, it's a message for all humanity. That's why it's necessary. But we have the Bible. Allah revealed it. We have Allah, the Bible, brother. Just because God comes with a first revelation. No, why did the Quran come down? I'm, I'm, why did Muslims teach that the Quran came down? By Allah's permission, by Allah's why? grace, by Allah's yeah, mercy. That's why the Quran the came down. And, 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 and brother, brother, I can prove to you that but there's my no question, doubt. As there's a Muslim, no, why did the Quran come down? I just answered your question. Is it not because of the Bible? To confirm, heaven? no, not, I'm going to tell you. Listen, is that not what the, the Quran teach? says? The Quran says, here's the answer to your question. The Quran confirms. Allah says in the Quran, it is a revelation, a manifestation that validates and confirms all the revelations that came before it. So that's why. The Bible already validated itself. Why was brother, it necessary for this? Brother, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, himself, the creator, he comes with a message, the first message, to Ibrahim, alayhi Then he comes with to another message, with Abraham. Then he comes with another message. To David, meaning the the, the 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 Moses, David, the books that that that's in existence. I'm not talking about all the books that's been destroyed, but, but misplaced, all people, all and lost. All the people but, he came to was for one family. Okay, okay, that's good. Hold on, that's good. I know that. So he so he comes with a revelation to to Moses, <laughs> to David, and to until Esau, Yahshua, Ben Joseph, Jesus, and then he and then he comes last with the Quran. So so the Muslim, our argument is. It's a, Allah, as you, you know, God can do whatever he wants. His prerogative. He comes with the first revelation to Moses. And of course, y'all know the history. The children are stiff ripped, this rebellious, stiff neck, as they are today. Same way today. Same way right now today. Then he comes with David. With we, the books. Then he comes with Esau. Hold on. You're not no, no, hold on, hold on. Question. Then, then he comes with Esau, alayhi salam. Yahshua bin Yosef. Still stiff neck, rebellious. Then he comes with... With, with the last revelation, with, 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 with Muhammad, the prophet, with the Sunnah and the Quran. So the Muslim argument is, since God can come with his first revelation and come with another revelation and another revelation, one, two, three revelation, why can't why can he not come with the last revelation? That's not what Muslims teach. Well, the, well, I'm telling you that... Me being a Muslim for 10 years, you can't pull that crap on me. Brother, I'm, Muslims I'm, I'm, teach I'm, that I'm, the Quran I'm telling came you. down because the Bible was tampered with. Brother, so he had this brother, 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 the Sunnah brother, revelation brother, of Brother, that's part of the ex that's what they explanation. Teach. No, that's Is not that true. not what they I, teach? Brother, I never taught that. No, you don't. Right. Well, you don't speak and I've heard, and I, I, That's my point. But, I, but I, I'm going to tell you what I am speaking for. That when you say that, that the Muslims teach... That the Quran came down because the Bible was corrupt. That's what they teach. Wait, 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 hold on, stop, stop. Look, brother, now you know like I know that in this Bible right now, there's contradictions. You know that there's words that's been taken out. You know that there's... There many, is no there's 300, in the Bible. Let, let me finish. Let me there finish. is none. Let me finish. Hold on, brother. There's not one contradiction. Sure. Only two okay, those of you that hold don't on. understand. Hold, hold on, okay. Well, look, well, look, well, well listen. Listen. Well, well, allow Allah to deal with my, my misunderstanding. Let, allow Allah to work on that. With me. But no, okay, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Trust me, I can prove it. So if but I come on, over there slapping your wait. face, you're going to turn another cheek and slap you on another cheek? Hold on, hold on, brother. I was talking to you. That's a misunderstanding. That's a contradiction right there. That's not a misunderstanding. That's not a misunderstanding. He's talking about the brother. He won't be talking about the other nations. Right. But I'm right. Brother. He, was he was talking about family. Family, right? Brother. He's right. No, no, no. Yeah, we're all brothers. What I'm saying, right. what? 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 Hold on, hold on. I'm a more. I know I'm a so more, but listen to what I'm saying. Suddenly strike your brother. Right. Brother. So how you his brother, but you striking your brother. Right. right. But see, I said if I would, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Brother, brother, I what, do brother, that. brother, what I'm saying is. He wasn't talking about 
just he wasn't he wasn't talking about everybody. He was talking he was talking to, to one family. One family. You're never gonna get right. back to this, Ali, because you're okay, gonna get that's two people. I don't don't let me I don't understand though, man. Because both of y'all are right and y'all over there going back and forth. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> no, no, it's all right because because this is what See, I do. Both of y'all are right. I, I've never no, got the right. chance uh, to finish bringing out what Muhammad has done. Okay, and bring that out. I'll listen and I'll address that part too. I'm trying to get an understanding and I'll address that part too. So-called black people could actually follow this after they know the life of Muhammad yes. and what he's done. Huh? You know, okay, um, the things that he's actually done. Come on, son. Um, so, but first I wanted to... Uh, yes. Yes. I want to respond to the statement Ali made. He said that a non-believer is... I guess, what's your definition of it? The non-believer? Because I don't know. Because you said we're not non-believers, right? I, I never said, said you wasn't a non-believer. Come on, bro. You're, you're mis <laughs> you don't know. The way you understand that, the teaching of Islam, okay. we say non-believer. Listen, if you don't believe in Allah, right? And his revelations and his prophets and his message and his divine message. In Islam, we say that's a non-believer. Okay. Right. So that, that's now, us. No, no, no. That's not true because we because, don't believe in this. No, well, hold, hold on. Stop. Oh, yeah, stop. You believe in the Quran? Stop. Uh -uh. stop. Oh, so yeah. we're not believing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> listen, listen. What I'm saying. But however, the Quran says. Listen, listen. We Muslims say, and the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, He says, "Those who believe, those who believe in Allah, in Yahweh." No, not Yahweh. You, well, you cannot. Okay. You cannot shut up on this No, 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 brother, 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 stop. Because, because, hold on. Because what you're talking about came three thousand some years later. Beloved, beloved, beloved. beloved. O oh, Allah, He, the Creator is known by many names, even in your scriptures. So stop. Now, with different up. terms, they with titles. different titles and different names, even in the Torah. So stop. We're just talking about because I, because I say Yahweh and Allah, and you say they're not the same God. That's well, the trick. Well, I'm, that's, that's no, the no, trick no, that no, Muslims no, use no, no, it's to not, get us to convert over. No, 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 that's, that's not true. That's not true. Brother, only Allah makes Muslims. That, only no, Allah makes no, Muslims. No, deception so, makes that. That's not deception. true. That's not true. That's not true. When I, when I finish going into the life of Muhammad, you will see why okay, no so-called black man should be a Muslim. Go. you got to be crazy to now, the brother said that, so again, I'm trying to first establish, no, are we on, believers or non-believers? You are believe? We, are we, do I, I you believe? believe do I don't you believe in a Do you believe? And, and, and he said believe? we believers, do, but yes. you saying Islam said we're not. Right. That's why Islam, I got out of this. Islam, Islam, he said, I'm he saying, said, he saying, said, I'm saying, no, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that the Quran says, okay. that Allah says himself. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying what men say okay. who say that they follow Islam okay. or what the world of Islam says, okay. that those who believe, uh -huh. though they be Hebrews, Christians, or Sabians, there's a paradise waiting for you, those who do who live a righteous life and obey his laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay. That's what I'm Stop saying. Stop right there. Now watch this. Watch this. Now, again, I asked the brother mm -hmm. to name the five pillars of Islam. If you do not follow the five pillars of Islam, you're not considered to be a Muslim, which means one who submits his will in to practice, the, let me yes. finish, in practice, to do the yes. will of Allah. That's true. Um, so then you're therefore a kafir, mm -hmm. means you are a non-believer. So if I don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad, which I don't, then I'm considered to be a non-believer. It don't matter if I follow the Torah or whatever. If I don't believe in their last prophet, I'm not considered to be a Muslim. Is that not true? That's true. That's true. So we are non-believers. It goes back to what I said. Now watch this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, Rabbil alamin, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki yamidin, ayyakina abudu wa ayyakina sta'in, ihiddin the sarata mustaqim. The straight and narrow path. Ihiddin the sarata mustaqim. Now watch this. If I translate this, if you translate this into um, English, look, look at the last verse of this. Not those upon whom is wrath. Who's that? That's us. That's talking about the people of the book. And those brought down, nor those that go astray. We're saying to go astray because why? We're considered to be Israelites. Or we're considered to be Christians. So is that not talking about those, brother? Ali? Yes, sir. It's the people of the book. So mm -hmm. again, that validates my point. The people of the book are we're the Hebrews to, and those who call themselves we're considered Christians. To be, right. We're considered to be non-believers. It's a simple question. Brother Ali could have answered that in three I, seconds. I answered, see. I answered the question. All right, so we're non-believers, right? Yeah. So non-believers is what? A kafir. This bother him being a Muslim. Okay. So a kafir. Come on, come on. A kafir, you know, I brought out all the things that you could do to a kafir. You don't have to be honest with him.
It could be slander, so on and so forth. So we are Kafirs. We're, we're not just, your we're, we're not your brothers essentially you, because we're you, not you, Muslim. You 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 misunderstanding that brother. No, this is where Islam I, I, teaches. I, I know what the Islam teaches. If we're brother. not Muslims, we're not brother, really considered brother, to be your brothers. Brother, the Prophet Muhammad said. That's not true. The Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Hold on. The Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu sallallahu sallallahu. I mean, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, listen, that. listen to what he said. Mm. The Prophet Muhammad hmm. Ibn Abdullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, listen to his words, that every human being is born on the fitra. On the fitra, which means that in your nature, you're born to submit and to do the will of God. You're born that way. So I'm going That's the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Now, even in the womb, you are, you are in a prostrated position of submissive, the baby in the womb. So, when we say that this he, he's on this non-believer. I mean, it's now, a Kafir. He, it, it's, it's true, he's a Kafir. However, that doesn't mean that in Islam, when, when Allah says that those who, don't, those who don't believe, who are Kafirs, now, the Quran, Allah says that those who believe in Allah and his, and his, we're not talking about the non-believers because he's right. I'm not going to back down. You a non-believer and, and what we know, oh, of course I'm not. Well, you a non-believer and you with shaitan, then you stay with your, that enemy and you're an enemy to us. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't look yeah. at the Hebrew Israelites as non-believers. Because of what the Quran said, and also what the Prophet Muhammad said, mm -hmm. that he said, I'm quoting, that the closest to the closest to the Muslim, the closest to the Muslim in love, is the Hebrew, the priests, the, the pastors, and those who call themselves Christians. The Quran says. Yeah, All right. So now I'm going to quote from the Sharia, which is Islamic law. Is it undisputable? Is it unrefutable? This is from 59 um, to 22. And this clarifies Quranic verses and hadiths about hatreds for the sake of Allah and love for the sake of Allah. al wala wa al bara being unyielding towards kafirs, which means non-believers, when you be unyielding against them, hard against them, detesting against them, meaning you hate them, um, while accepting the destiny of Allah most high insofar as it decrees the almighty and majestic. So it tells them to detest us Catholics, non-believers. No, it doesn't. This, it, but brother, I just told you I'm, in, I'm Islam, quoting, in Islam, in Islam, we quoting, don't look at, in Islam. I'm quoting the Sharia, in Islam, which is Islamic I, 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 law. Brother, I read that. What I'm telling you, what, that what was Allah, it, Islamic Allah created Listen, for? listen, Allah. From Muhammad. Right. Uh, Muhammad created the Sharia. So this is what he taught Muslims Muhammad, to do. Muhammad, that's not true. This Muhammad, true. Muhammad was deceased. This is true. When, when, when this, the, 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 listen, the Sharia didn't come into existence at 800, what year, 880? Yeah. 880, 890. 890. 880, between 880 and 890. Yeah. The Prophet Muhammad died in the year 632. Yeah, they, they, so, so, no, no, no. So the Prophet Muhammad did not create the Sharia law. Everything. He was deceased. Yeah. Every, okay, go. Just like the Hadith. Just like okay, the hadith, I know, I know, I heard what you said. That's not every, true. Everything so he correct, did. This but my point is, okay. well, let me rephrase it there, okay, so that they can understand. Okay. Everything that he did uh -huh. became law. Whatever Muhammad did, that's what Muslims supposed to strive to emulate. That is undisputable. That is irrefutable. I'm gonna quote another one. Forty thirty-five. They, meaning the Kafirs, who dispute the signs, meaning the verses of the Quran of Allah without authority having reached them are greatly hated by Allah and the believers, meaning Muslims. So that's, that's making the distinction between the Kafirs, the Muslims, and the non-believers. That's right. So, so Allah seals up every arrogant, disdainful heart. So again, we see hatred. So we're hated by Allah if we're Kafirs. Stop. Let me, everyone, everyone he comment on, let me, let me expound on. Every time you quote something, let me expound yeah, on. Yeah. Now, so, so, no, no, no. So I disagree with my brother. I, I, I'm, I'm reading no, it from I, your I, brother, brother, I've read that. Listen, 
We are, Did I not just read we're hated by yeah. Allah? No, no, no. Did no. I not just read that? Listen, listen, brother. Come on. Come on. Brother, it's impossible for a Muslim to hate you. You yeah, know why? Yeah. That, that's semantics. If you know, I'm about to give you the truth. Then they're not a true Muslim. Okay, hold on. Okay, now, I just, oh, now why you want to say that? That's true. Because, because, because I wouldn't say to you that you're not a true Hebrew. Hold on, brother. Now I wouldn't say that to you that you're not a true Hebrew. Okay, but if so you don't follow the Quran. Hold on, hold on. Out of respect for one another. I would never say to none of you that you're not a true true Hebrew. Okay, how much I disagree with you? Okay, let me okay, ask man. you this. Let me put it like this, wow. because you're playing some mantis with me. How am I, brother? I'm being straight if with I, you. If a Muslim, I read that. You know I read that. But you if know a Muslim, I know that. But, okay, answer this question. Okay, go. Because I got to shit you up with questions. Hold on, brother. Let me, let me answer Muslim, it, though. You, you, you read. Let me expound no, you, on it. I got to defend what you're saying. But this verse just said that they're supposed to hate Catholics. Brother, bro, brother. But you're telling me that's not what that means. No, no, no. It does true. That is, we should hate the Catholics. That's all So, okay, now. But what I'm saying to you, uh. what I'm saying to what I'm saying to Brother Tazada <laughs> is that is that we as Muslims, as we as Muslims, in our eyes, the Hebrews, if the people of the book, y'all look at the us Hebrews, like brothers, exactly. We're saying, listen, the Quran. Oh, oh, if you let me finish, um, well, okay, well, okay, well, let me finish. We're Catholics. Listen, listen, you know, brother, listen to what I'm saying. If you believe in the the Creator, no matter what name you call him according to the teachings and the principles of Islam, and you believe in your book, the Torah, and the, and the prophets, Moses and the Hebrew Israelite prophets, because we Muslims believe in the same God, and your Torah, and your Hebrew pro Israelite prophets, every single last one of them. In fact, we believe in all the prophets, known and unknown. So, if, so just on that belief, we can't say you're not, you're a non-believer. Okay, I have a question. Go. According to Hadith, is it permissible to give the cot to a non-believer? Mm. I want you to ask a Muslim that, Brother Eliezer. Is it permissible to give the cot, which means charity, charity. to a non-believer? Yes. No, you're not supposed down. to. Now, according to Hadith, you're not brother, supposed to brother, give to a Catholic. Brother, brother, hold on. Listen. Wow. Now, now look, bro, brother, brother, bro, bro, brother, let's be sensible and intelligent. No, that's, is that not in the yeah, Hadith? I, I read it's that. in the Hadith. Brother, I read that. Let me be, let me answer the question. See, what he's saying is true. I read that. However, now, I give charity all the time. And I'm a Muslim. To Islam, to believers, right? And I also help innocent people who I don't know what they believe. I don't know if they're atheists, I don't know if they're Hindus or Buddhists, but I give charity. Charity isn't just giving money or buying food or sheltering somebody. Charity could be a smile. Charity could be good morning. <laughs> charity, hold on, hold what on. What is a cot? Hold on. Do you give zakat with a smile? Sure, sure, true. sure we give zakat. According to the five pillars of Islam, you're just smiling at someone. That's not fulfilling the five pillars. It's, you gotta That's give money. That's Sada. You gotta Sada. give money. So That's don't play cement. No, 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 no. Actually, actually, actually. Hold on a minute, brother. Yes, you have to. Z zakat is money. Two percent of their Z money is supposed uh, to right. go to the poor. Z That's true. Z zakat. Uh, right. Zakat so is money. Sadaqat is charity. Well, both is charity. Both falls under the word charity. Zakat, the action. And sadaqah, meaning sadaqah be no sadaqah be sadaqah means charity. Meaning if I give you a ride home, that's charity. Mm -hmm. That's sadaqah. I didn't give you no money. If I give you a pair of tennis shoes, I didn't give you no money to go buy the tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. If if I if I give you a camera, or if I help you, if you fall down and I lift you up off the ground, help you up, that's sadaqah. That's charity. So there's many forms of charity to give to a human being. So when it says that he's the hadith said you only you only supposed to give zakat to a Muslim. Now what that means is which Muslims are doing the opposite, I can prove it right now, and the Hebrews are doing the same thing in charity when it comes to zakat and charity in definition. Mm -hmm. We get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, the most high, bless us with money. Who we gonna give it to? Shaitan, the devil. We go right past our Hebrew brother, right past our Muslim brother business, and we support the devil, say Shaitan. So this is why Allah gave us a will and a choice to do what is right and what is unright. Watch this, I got some more. I'm going to quote from the Quran. I'm going to go to um, Quran, Surah 83. And it says, on that day the faithful will mock the Catholics. 
mean the non believers That's right. They're going to mock us. That's right. While they sit on the bridal couches and watch them. I mean, they're going to be enjoying it. Like, you know. Allah Allah. Should not the Kafirs be paid back for what they did? So, I mean, this is talking about us, man. No, it's not. Again. It's talking again, about non -believers. Again. Again. I said, according to the teachings and the principles of Islam, the Quran says, I said it over and over and over, that those who believe, who call themselves Hebrews, we, I don't see you, brother, as a non-believer, neither you or you. But that's you. Now, We're well, talking about Islam. Hold, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I can't speak for every 1.9 billion Muslims. But I do know that, that, that we will... Uh, re, 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 read that again, that last one, that last sentence you said, the hadith. That, no, that, that was that was that was um Quran. Okay. Eighty three, right that, here. Okay, it says that Surah we would, which one is it? Right there. Okay. On that day the faithful will mock the Kafirs while they sit on bridal couches and watch them. Should not the Kafirs be paid back for what they do? Watch this. Let me get let me give let me answer that. No, that means yes. Our enemies, Satan and his children. We should always be on the lookout for that, that devil in the flesh and deal with him the way in a just manner and to defend what we believe in, which means trying to live this righteous Islamic life to get back to Allah. So yes, I don't love my enemy. I don't love Satan and his children. And the, and the Quran makes it clear. Well, let's get some clarity. Hold on, brother. Because, again, you're speaking from an individual perspective. No, I'm speaking from what, I, 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 what the Quran, what that verse says. I agree with it 100%. Okay, so. I agree with that verse 100%. Me being a Catholic. I just said, okay, in your mind to you. Hold no, no. According in your to mind, Quran, okay, or according the Quran, to Quran, the Quran is it not say, to behead a Catholic? It's not a believer supposed no to be head a Catholic. No, no way in the Quran does it say chop off somebody's head. It tells you to be head to calf on the battlefield. Show me, show me the Quran where it says. Okay, you said show me, hold on, hold on. Show me one ayah in the Quran. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Where, I, where, where, where Allah says in the Quran 47 to cut off verse the head. Four. 47 verse 4. Read it. I'm going to get it. You got a Quran? No, no, of course I got it. Because well, I, okay, I never read anywhere where Allah said well, cut off anybody's head. Charged. I never read that. You read this way, Allah says in the Quran, cut somebody's heads off. Cut any heads off. Now, it says if you still cut the hand in the foot, Al-Quran 47 but the head, verse 4. I've never seen I'm not making this up. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. I ain't got no reason to make this up. No, no, just read You're it. You're supposed to know your book. Uh, well, it's not brother, my responsibility brother, to brother, teach you brother, book. Brother, I know my book okay. to the best of my ability. So you should know it says so, on 47 brother, I, verse brother, 4. Brother, I'm not a Hafiz. Right. Look, I haven't memorized every surah in the Quran. Right. Every ayah in the Quran. But I do know many, 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 many. I've okay, surah 47. Muhammad. It's called Muhammad. Verse 4. So when you meet, in battle, those who disbelieve the Kafirs smite the nets. Make, then, when you have overthrown them, make them prisoners, and afterwards set them free as a favor for ransom till war laid down in burdens. That. Is, is that it? Because I read that a hundred times. You know, I read that a hundred times. So be so, and if Allah please, He will certainly. Extra, extra, right, extradite rebutions from them, but he may try some of you by means of others, and those who slain in the way of Allah, he will never allow their deeds to perish. Allah Akbar. Now, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Now let me let, let, now now, let me let me let me let me just say this. That's one translation. No, no, no another no, translation, I that, brother. But another translation, when you read it, it says, when you encounter the Kafirs on the battlefield. Cut off their heads until you have thoroughly defeated them, and because the word smite means kill, yeah. when to kill. You know, yeah. Right. So the the other translation says cut off their heads till you have thoroughly defeated them, and then take the prisoners and tie them up firmly. So the ones that you don't behead, then you take uh, them I, as prisoners. I, I, first of all, see, 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 see what he left out in that ayah was that on the battlefield. And those who, no, I said that. And those who, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm explaining what you said. What he left the point, the, the part he left out was, he didn't expound on it. It says on the battlefield, the non-believers, meaning those who offend you, your enemies. It says where you find them, kill them. 
I agree with that 100%. Now, again, I think what my brother Tazak is missing, that I don't, we as Muslims don't see Hebrews as non-believers. That's not true, brother. Our brother, but the Quran testifies if to that. I do the not, Quran says those who believe. No, do you believe in a, in a creator, the Most High? Do you believe in the Torah? I believe in Yahweh. Yahweh. Okay, okay, watch this. Let me speak your language. Do you believe in Yahweh? Right. Do you believe in Moshe? I believe in Yahweh. Okay, do you believe in his Torah? Uh, of course. Okay, we do too. Every Muslim does too. Yeah, of course. Do you believe in all his prophets? I gotta stop you right there, brother. I Can I say something? Right I gotta stop you right there. <laughs> I want to no. say something. The, the reason that you got to believe in those, crazy. brother, uh -huh. is because that is what you use to substantiate this book. Because if you don't believe in the form of prophets, no, most, brother, most no, of brother, the Quran... Brother, brother, we don't use that because Allah... Most of the Quran is a repetition of, of what's actually already stated in the Bible. Like from Muslims wearing all white to Juma. It's taken out brother, of the book of Revelation. Brother, brother are like, you saying that the Quran is... is has, that, 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 that the Prophet Muhammad... Let me ask this. Are you saying that the Prophet Muhammad, Ibn Abdullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, read the... No, no, I'm saying this. There's, there's a boy. I'm saying this. You and copy and That's made exactly up the Quran. That's exactly what he did. Yeah. Muhammad was yeah. a traitor. Really? I read the book. Muhammad was a traitor. Wow. No, hold on. Let, let me give you a little bit of history. But they Muhammad. said the Prophet Muhammad couldn't read or write his whole yeah, life. That's what they said. So the, how did he come up with the Quran? That's what I'm saying. Uh, by Allah, by the creator himself. Yeah, right, right. In the cave. So, 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 so suddenly I mean, the angel I mean, Gabriel I mean, came I mean, down I mean, to him and said, Ikra. Didn't that angel... Did Gabriel speak to Moshe too? And, 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 and many other prophets? That's in, in the Hebrew prophets, is that correct? Yeah, but we're not so, with so, Moses right now. No, I'm just saying. I'm, because I'm, you I'm, believe I'm, in Moses. I'm, I'm just doing a parallel. So why, so, 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 so why can't our Hebrew brothers believe that Allah can't come to another prophet? Because it's not mentioned in the Bible. That's not, not true either. It's, it's, That's it's not, not true I told either. you that earlier. Not, That's not true. They dealt with it's, one family. The, okay, no, no. I know about the Hebrews so like family. So why would you go out outside of family? So here's the difference right here. Family and grab hey, not, but, 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 here's, Look, here's the difference right here. Hebrew Israelite is not a religion. Exactly. It, it deals it, with nationality. Islam is not a religion. It is. It's a natural way Islam of life. Islam is a religion. Islam is a natural way of life. No, it's it's only created 1400 years ago. Brother, it's a, but Islam is a high moral code. That's based on rice, righteous. But you know Hebrew. Is, that's our blood. That's yeah. our blood. Uh, a Hebrew is. Check this out. You know that. A, right. a man can that's convert you. over and be a Muslim. Anyone. Right. Brother, 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 brother. Can another white man be a Muslim? Yeah, any, yeah. any human so, being. So watch this. You are, a uh, Hebrew Israelite has to be a Hebrew Israelite right. from birth. A, a, Muslim, a, Muslim, a, Muslim, a Muslim. A Muslim is born. born uh, yeah, a human true. being is born. Nah, that's a, a term. human being is born. A human being is born to submit to the will of Allah by nature. That's religion, though. You dealing with religion. Listen, I'm not dealing with religion. I'm telling you that when you came out your womb and when we came out so our mother's womb Islam? we wasn't even listen what is Islam? We, we, Islam means complete and total submission it's a religion. to do the will let me finish it's a religion it's not a religion Islam. you say a religion I'm saying it's not they say it's now, a religion no no, no I don't care listen brother bring me any scholar in Islam listen it's, it's all on video bring me any scholar in Islam and anybody knows that when you start talking using language, yes, when you start talking about religion, using the term religion, Islam, you have to go to the meaning of the word Islam. Well, we know that. The meaning, hold on. The meaning of the word Islam means complete, complete and total, entire submission to do the will of Allah. And the root word of Islam is salam, which means peace. And in, the, in your Torah, in your Torah, the word peace is mentioned... And the entire scriptures is mentioned over 280 times. That's how In we fact, agree. 400 and some times. That's how we agree. The, the 419 to be exact. So what I'm saying, the word peace, what is, the, what, is the, what is the meaning of our faith? Peace. Peace is all in through, all through the, 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 the Torah and the Injil and the Zabor and the, the books of Paul, I mean the letters of Paul. So what I'm saying to my brother is that, okay, we might have our differences. Right? But I'm telling you, the, the, my understanding and my interpretation, and how Allah the Most High gives it to me, when I read the Quran, of course, He reads it. I'm not, if you notice, I never refuted to nothing He said. I didn't disagree with nothing He said. In fact, you heard me say, Allahu Akbar. You heard me say, we should hunt our enemies down and kill them when we find them. As, uh, as, uh, as much as offenses that they have done to us since we've been on the planet. Yeah, we are not each other's enemies. Of course. So, so naturally, naturally, 
like, 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 like when my brother Tazadak said, this is why I love him as a brother. When he said something earlier, what did I say? And I, I said, well, you got a fight on your hands. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said that out of love, though, mm -hmm. out of respect, mm -hmm. because I'm going to stand on this dean, though, man, and I, I'll admit, I'll admit that in Islam there's a lot of bid'ah, yeah. meaning innovations. Mm -hmm. And I'll admit that a lot of things in Islam, like the holy prophet, he's not holy. Like the slavery and stuff, that language about the slave in Islam, false. How about women? And, it, and he mentioned something about putting your pants up to your ankles. That's the part I wanted to bring up. Watch this, for the hellfire. Stop. <laughs> right now, today, hold on. Right now, today, Arabs is over there, they're wearing suits, they're wearing yeah, long yeah. sheets that's, that's mm -hmm. touching the ground almost. Driving 500 Benzes. They, they're driving Benzes. They, they, they don't ride camels no more. They went, they're doing everything over there. So let's not, let's be intelligent here. Now, I don't wear my pants above my knee thinking that if I don't drop them, the hellfire, I'm going to be in the hellfire. Because they crackers too. <laughs> so let's stop. Let get back to it. It's what's in your heart. Yahshua, Esau, alayhi salam said, blessed be the pure in heart, for they shall see a lot. That's what Yahshua said. Being <clears throat> Watch this. Yeah. Come on, I want to get this. Come on. So a a kafir can be plighted against, according to Quran. A Catholic can be plotted against. You know, the non-believer can be plotted against. Surah 86, verse 15. They plotted and speak against you. Meaning, um, Muhammad. They may try to say it means a lot. And I plot and scheme against them. Therefore, deal calmly with the Catholics and leave them alone for a while. So, Muslims are supposed to plot against Catholics. According to your own Surah mm -hmm. um, 85, 86, verse 15. I got another one. A Catholic can be terrorized. Okay, well, this explains why oh, they shot okay. themselves with bombs. Oh, okay, brother, brother. Now I just said to you, in Islam, it is forbidden. It is haram. Suicide is forbidden. Okay. So, so when you see them doing that, that's a totally different level of war, man. But that's political so, just, Islam. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, that's not Islam. That's political okay. Islam. Brother, brother, brother. What a believer. What someone we does. What someone does who say they believe in something. You cannot equate, I keep saying this, you cannot say, well, the teachings... I'm going to show you where my Muhammad encouraged because, men because to do I'm, that. If you give me the chance, go. I'm going to bring out the life of Muhammad, go. and I'm going to show you. Go. If you're so bring it out. black, man, you got to be crazy to be following this, man. <clears throat> then the Lord... Uh, Catholic I, I wouldn't terrorized. say that either, but yeah. Catholic I would never terrorized. say you should Watch be this. crazy about following the Hebrew Israel. I would never tell the, the that. The Shorah is 8, mm -hmm. verse 12. Then your Lord speak to his angel and said, I will be with you. Give strength to the believers, and I will send terror into the Catholics and cut off their heads mm. and even the tips of their fingers. That's Quran 8, verse 12. A Muslim is not to be a friend with a non-believer. This is what their book teaches. Allah right? Akbar, absolutely. This is what their book teaches. That's right, and we shouldn't. See? We okay. shouldn't. Verse, th this is sort of 3, verse 28. Believers should not take Kafirs as friends. I agree, 100%. Believers should not take Kafirs as friends. That's right. Okay. Kafirs are evil. I'm, I'm still in the Quran. Um, Surah 23, verse 97. And say, O oh my Lord, I seek refuge with you from the suggestion of the evil one. Allah Akbar. You're in the Kafirs. That's right. And I seek refuge with you, my Lord, from their presence. I mean, they don't even want to be in the presence of us. Okay, okay, okay. can I expound? Uh, and, and, are, you, are you finished reading? No, what you're going to try and say, Bubba, is this is referring to the so-called white man. No, I'm not saying that. That's not, that thought never came into my mind. It, this is referring to non-believers. Brother, I, I'm going to stay on the non-believers. Is that fair enough? I'm going to stay on the cap. Okay, yeah. let me finish. Can I expound? Watch the real okay. enemy. Watch this. Watch the real enemy. I, listen, what he's, what, what he's saying in the Quran, what he's God. quoting, I agree 100%. 100%. Spiritual set. Now watch I this. Watch, this. Get out of here, man. watch this. Hold on, brother. Oh, listen, 100%. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, it's all right. No, 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 no. This is what we need to do. Stuff a lot, Keith. Stuff a lot. Listen, listen, listen. Stuff a lot, Keith. Listen, listen, listen. I believe 100%. Regular being. As you be laying in that shit down, I just see. Alhamdulillah. I believe in 100% what he's saying, because Allah testifies that in the Quran. Now, 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 now. 
our, the non-believing, meaning our open and, and hidden enemy in our face. Absolutely, I agree with every every word, one hundred percent. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, to such an extent, right, that that that, that I believe in in in. And, and separating yourself from the evildoers, the evil ones. In fact, let me quote Yahshua, Ben Yosef, Nabi Isa, whom they call Jesus the Christ. He said, separate yourself from the evildoers. So I agree with every word of what Allah says in that Quran, because that's what because he said the same thing. Go. Now, now watch this, watch this. Now the brothers said that we're not Catholics, right? We're not Catholics, right? Because we read the book. Mm -hmm. We're the people of the book. Now, watch the semantics. What Muslims teach is that they will accept the Jews, the Hebrew Israelites, because we know the Edomites, they're fake Jews, mm -hmm. and right. the Christians as brothers in the Abrahamic faith, as long as they believe that Yahweh Shah, that one that they refer to as Isa, mm -hmm. is just a prophet. And he's not a god mm -hmm. under the Most High, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Because if you believe that, if, you, if a Christian believes in the so-called Trinity, Muslims are not supposed to be friends there because they're Catholics, because they don't believe that he was just another prophet. Mm -hmm. Is that not what they that's teach? True. That Isa was uh, just know, another prophet. So, um, so say what? We, really, we, we taught that he was just what? Just another prophet. Just another prophet? Right. That's not true. Well, I mean, see, he's trying to play it worse. Well, a that's prophet like the other prophet. That's not true. What we he, believe, I mean, is he question. God? Let me, no, is he's he, not God. Okay, right. We don't believe he's God, and neither do we believe in the Trinity. We don't believe in hey, God the Father, see, God right, the Son, right. God the Holy Ghost. That's the other thing. There's no such thing as the Trinity. The Trinity is that, not even in the Scriptures. The word Trinity is not even in the Bible. That's that's the other thing that they teach is that if they the Christians believe in the Trinity, then hey, they're Catholics. So this is actually going to make us Catholics because I know that Yahweh Shah was more than just a prophet. Mm -hmm. He was the God well, of Stop, world. stop. He was the God hold of Hold on, world. hold on. The Muslim, hold on. We, we believe the same thing. Mm -hmm. We Muslims say, hold on. We Muslims say that Yahweh No, but you Yashua don't believe that he was a God. Though, right? no, 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 of course we don't believe he was God. God in the flesh. No, sir. Hey, it, and we can prove Get your sword. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hold no. on, brother. Wait, wait, no, wait. Get, get, get Genesis now. and you get drawn. We're okay. going to show you that he was a god. No, 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 no. No. A god or the creator god? No, but hold on. I'm asking. A god, because the scripture said, hold on, you got to you be clear with me now. A god, no. Yeah. Is it a god or yeah, the yeah, god? Yeah. He's a god of this world. Okay, Jesus is the god of this world. That's right. He's okay, a god stop. of this world. Stop. Okay, the god or a god? He's the god of this world. Okay, what, you have to tell me, brother. He's is not, he a god? Is he, was he I a god? Or the he's creator. Not, he's not the creator. Okay, that's it. Not, that's okay. So we no, say in Islam he's not the creator. But no, no, me, no, no, no. It's not what they teach in Islam. I'm, brother, I'm telling you. They're playing semantics again. Brother, they're teaching I'm teaching Islam. You, if you look at. I, I was in Islam, man. Brother, I know what they teach. You're not talking to someone that wasn't in this faith. Right. They teach in Islam that if you believe that Hamashiach Yahawashah was more than just a prophet, then you are a Kafir. Stop. Point blank period. Stop. Mm. Stop. Point blank Stop. period. That's the, hold on. Hold on. I don't know what, what Islamic teaching he was who he, he got his learning from or who he was under. I heard who he said. The brother in on Fulton Avenue in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. right there on Bedford Avenue, Imam Wahab Siraj, which I used to go there for many years. No, but I studied with your hold on. I studied with your moms from Mecca. Okay, okay, brother, I study with Imams too all over the world too. But what I'm saying to you is that's not that's not true. We Muslims believe. That Jesus, that Yahshua, Esau was a prophet. We believe he was a messenger. And you know, there's a difference between a prophet and a messenger, by the way. We believe that he was a prophet. We believe he was a messenger. We believe that he was the Messiah, called, translated Messi, meaning Christ in the English language or in the Hebrew, I mean the Greek. And we also believe in, his, in all his miracles that he performed by God's permission, by, by Allah's permission. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe, you know how all the, the Hebrews, y'all waiting for the second coming of him? Y'all waiting for his second coming? Right? Every Muslim is waiting for the same Yahshua. That's not true. They're, but, they're waiting for the mighty. Okay, brother. They're brother, waiting for the brother, mighty. Brother, Muslims brother, are not brother, waiting for brother, the turn of brother, God. Brother, I'm telling you, I got authentic hadiths that confirm what I'm saying. Now, Muslims what, I, what are I'm waiting saying for the is, mighty. okay, that too, brother. What I'm saying is, hold on a minute. Let Those me finish. What the, the, the Mahdi is the one who's going to rein it all in. See, that's the Mahdi. The reign, I mean, all this will be and discussed. For the, the, the entire truth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Which I is going to be formal. Hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute. 
So, so that's my answer. So, so we just don't believe he's just a prophet. No, and we don't believe he's God in the flesh, God incarnate. He's the creator. We don't believe that. Go ahead, bro. All right. Um, okay. I, I, I think it's different because if you ask any Muslim, well, I'm going to not say any. Muslims that follow mainstream Islam. Sunnah. Okay, that's, Sunnah. That's right, right. Sunnah. And, and, which, which uh, and Shiites, they're going to tell There's you. There's no such thing as a Shiite well, Muslim or, or a Sunni Muslim. That's something they made up. Well, that's some made up stuff. Okay, that takes The Prophet me, Muhammad again, never said we were Sunni or Shia. Hold on, hold on. That takes me back to your Prophet. Did not Muhammad says that Christians divide it into many sects, but Islam is going to divide into more sects. So that's why you have Sunnah. That's why right. you have Shiites. Right. That's why you have all kind of different Muslims. Right. You just said that there was a sect. No, I, know, I didn't say it wasn't sects. I said the Prophet never... Ever you said there's said no such thing. The, no, that's not. I said there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm saying it. I'm not taking it back. There's no such thing as this. This is not from Allah. This is not from the Prophet. All these divisional these sects. The Prophet didn't teach Ahmadiyya or Wahhabi or or you a Sunni and you a Shia. That's what I'm saying. But do you have them? Yes, of course yeah, you we have them. Yeah, but you look, have them. Well, well, you have four. You got about four or five different types of Hebrews running around today. Yeah. Okay. But my point is, you said there's no such thing. No, I didn't say, no, no, that's not what you missing. I said that. Like you say, brother, listen, this on video. I saw this on video. Listen right. to my language, <laughs> and I'm explaining what I mean what I said. They made it up. It's made up. There's no such thing. There is a, we know that people call themselves Sunnis and Shias. What I'm saying that, when I say there is no such thing, Meaning that this didn't come from God. They made it up and they put they, they give themselves these titles and these labels and these names. That's what I mean when I say there's no such thing because it didn't come from Allah or the Prophet Muhammad himself. Okay, um, Surah 33 verse 60 um, says that a kafir is cursed. That's right. They, oh, well, I don't even have to read it. The brother um, agreed. So kafirs. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about Kafirs and people of the book. Again, the people of the book being the Christians and Jews. They, the people of the book, are supposedly the brothers in the Abrahamic faith. But again, in Islam, we just actually talked about that. If you believe that Yahweh Shah was actually more than a prophet of Allah, then you're not a true believer. Say that again, if I believe that. That. Yahweh Shah was more than just a prophet of Allah, then you're not a true believer. If you believe, Muslims teach, if you believe that the prophet, well, that you refer to as a prophet, Isa, right. was crucified, then you're not a true believer. No, we don't believe that. We don't believe he was crucified. We don't right. believe that. What y'all believe? They, they don't believe he was crucified. I'm telling no, we don't believe, believe in because no such thing. Muslim. Because, because, well, 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 look, brother, we got... Our scholars. They don't proved, believe. Also, our scholars have proved that. I'm not done yet. So I got to go into. I'm not done with what they believe yet. Okay. They don't believe that Yahweh Shah was resurrected. Now, to kill what the brother Ali said a few minutes ago, he said they believe in the return of a Mashiach Yahweh Shah. How can he believe in that he when they don't even believe that he was resurrected the first time? Yeah. Okay. I so why would you that. believe that he's coming back the second time? I got an answer for that. Mm. Answer that. First of all, that's true. Many prophets died and never came back. Many prophets have died in the grave and never came back. Known and unknown. Now there are some prophets, there, 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 there are some prophets, brother, in the, in the, in the Torah, uh, or, or one prophet, many people in the scripture, they say, and, 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 and I quote this, some, some was, it, these are not prophets. There's, there's, there's stories written in the, in, the, in the scriptures, in the Torah, in the Bible, <laughs> where people came up out of the grave, walking around, skeletons, mm -hmm. about hundreds, I read. And where Elijah the prophet went up into a room, Elijah. A woman said to him, her, my son, he's dead upstairs in the chambers. Go up there, Elijah. You are a prophet of God, of Allah, or, or Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And he went up there and prayed to Yahweh Shah. 
No, Yahweh. Yahweh. Did not the little boy come back to life according to this scripture? Mm -hmm. This is way before the life of Esau and Esau. So, why will it be insane or unspiritualistic or unmiraculistic for a Muslim to think and waiting for the coming of Christ? Either if he came, came back for the first time or he never came out of the grave. So to me, it just doesn't make sense. But go ahead. Okay, um, now I'm going to read Surah 9, verse 29. It says, make war with those who have received the scriptures, meaning the Torah, the Tanakh, and the, this is the Christians and the so-called Jews. I'm, I'm giving you this because I've, you know, I've done my research on that, but not believe in Allah. Remember the brother said, oh, this is from his Quran. Now I'm wow. showing you how it's contradicting what the brother said. Now, he said, as long as we believe in the book, then we're good, right? Mm -hmm. Read Surah 9, verse 29. It says, make war on those who have received the scriptures. That's us. That's the people of the book. That's the Jews and the Christians, but not believe in Allah. Not believe in Allah. I didn't say Yahweh. Now, you can try and play semantics and say Yahweh. No, no, brother, I read that. It's I mean, parallel with Yahweh, but Why it's not. I, I, I or in the last days. I can explain that. They do not forbid what Allah and his messenger. So you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad as well, Ali Yazor, because it says Allah and his messenger. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad or Rasulullah. If you don't believe in that, they're not rocking with you. Okay, okay so, what yeah. mean, so you want me to answer that? I'm not done with okay, the surah yet. Okay, keep reading. His messenger have forbidden. The Christians and the Jews do not follow the religion of truth until they submit and pay the poll tax. And they are humiliated. Right, let me, okay, let me let me ask. Oh. Ready? Real simple. Answer that, buddy. The Allah is talking about those Hebrews and those who call themselves Christians, those not who call themselves that, who say it, but it's not in their heart. They're not living it. They don't believe it. Like like the ones today, like the ones y'all was talking about last week. That's what that verse is is talking about. He's it's not talking about the true Hebrew Israelite who's living the walk and talking the talk. Now, that verse, and the, and the, and the verse goes on and says. But it's talking about us, brother. Brother, brother, because listen. Because it says, do not listen, believe in listen, Allah brother, and his messenger. Brother, listen, listen. Those who don't believe in Allah. And his, and messenger. his messenger. Watch this, watch this. Is Muhammad ibn Abdul. Look, I'm not going to refute. I believe that 100%. There's no doubt in me. But those I said, these, those Hebrew brothers, and those Christians, who we know, there's millions of them, there's thousands, and especially all in this country, all over the world, who's using their religion, they're, in fact, using, it's a dirty, they're using their religion, it's dirty, to disguise their dirt. We're talking about those hypocrites, and what they, who say they believe in the Most High, and Yah, Yah, uh, Yahweh. That's what, that's what that verse is saying. Now, also, you, and it says, those who don't believe in Muhammad. Now, here's our argument. Here's our argument for those who don't believe in Muhammad. If we, since we Muslims, not if, since we Muslims believe in, 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 in the same God you believe, no matter what you call him, I don't care what you call him, we Muslims still believe in him. Is that correct, brother? Every, you don't have to call him Allah. Hold on. You don't have to call him Allah. Call him Yahweh, his real name. That's semantic. No, no, I'm telling you. It's not some man. I'm just being straight with you. Okay, so we believe in the same God. I don't care what you, what the Hebrews call him, or what any religion call him. But since the topic is the Hebrew, and and the, the part, he came in with the topic about the, the Torah and Islam, I'm saying that we believe in one God, and since we, here's the Muslims' argument: since we can believe in your God, your scriptures. And all your Hebrew Israelite prophets. And the laws and statutes and commandments of your scriptures. To the, I'm talking about almost to the latter. No, you don't. No, I said, I said almost, not totally. Look, we have some differences. Well, Look, totally I'll, different. I, listen, okay, we have, some, we have some totally different perspectives. But it's not a huge 
it's not, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, like I said earlier, it's not like, you know, I said earlier that, that the Muslim and the Hebrew is closest in their concept of God, in their teachings about God, in their principles about God. I'll admit we have our differences. Look, in, totally, in some cases, total opposite difference. But not so, as, not, it's not a high percentage. It's not like 80%, 90%. We probably have about 10, 20% differences. If that much. So, here's why we say the Muslim's position. Since we believe in your God, your scriptures, the Torah, all the Hebrew Israelite prophets, and your stat statutes, laws, and commandments, to the letter, what is so difficult for our Hebrew brothers to accept the Prophet Muhammad? Right here, I'll, I'll answer that. First of all, you don't mm -hmm. have an option. And the Quran. Okay, uh, I'm going to answer that. Ask First of all, what's so difficult? The reason that you have to believe in those prophets, because again, that sort of validates the Quran. If you don't believe in Moses, um, and if you did believe Abraham, in... Abraham, Jesus, if, Ezekiel, we believe in all the prophets. If you, if you did believe in those the way that you claim to, the Bible clearly states that the covenant was made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not Abraham, Ishmael, and Jacob. So what Muslims do is they, uh, again, Muslims take everything and they twist it and switch it around. They teach you that the covenant was made with Abraham, Ishmael, and Jacob. But you can't find that anywhere in Torah. It, it, it completely tells us that the covenant was made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I Not agree. Ishmael. I he agree. was cast out. I agree. But, but, but brother, just because of, just, just but, because something wasn't made with Ishmael or something came But you're saying, why don't we believe in the no, book? No, I'm saying, so, that's, so that's why. So just because of that covenant, that's why you the, the, the Hebrews cannot accept the Quran and Muhammad. Yeah, we... He's, I'm asking. He, just because of that covenant. He's not... I got Okay, brother. He's not of our... He, wasn't, um, he, he didn't make the covenant he's, with he, He's not of our nation. Yeah. He has nothing to do with us. He came from the tribe Ishmael. of Ishmael. Yeah. He's our brother. He came from the 12 tribes of Ishmael. Yeah, but he was... But yeah, the covenant but, was not... But, but, but I'm mean. saying, what, was he a brother? Yeah, yeah but the he, covenant... He, he, brother, I'm asking I, I, was he a brother? So was Esau. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah. Wait a minute, brother. Now, you know you can't compare Esau. Esau. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, yeah, but you can't, can't do that. Because it, the, the scriptures... The oh, he was wicked like that? He, 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 he spirit, and his spirit? Of course generation. they were, man. Of course they so, were. So, so the Hebrews wasn't wicked and evil either? No, they weren't. So wait a minute. Hebrew the, the Israelites way, wasn't no, the, wasn't the, disobeying the, the, yeah, the most high and, and, yeah. and, and doing yeah. tons of evil. Wicked as wicked as Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, so on. brother, so what I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. Brother, look, I, I see your valid argument, right? But never will I, I'm just speaking since we're on video and camera, never will I go, you know, say to my brother here against his the Hebrew Israelite faith. I'm, I just won't do it out of respect for him, and, and he's a, a man of fear. A true Muslim. No, that's not true. That no, is true. No, no, brother, I am a true Muslim. I'm a, I'm a diehard Muslim. I'm a die of Muslim. Okay. My, me, my heart, my heart, I'm telling you, Islam is in my heart, brother. Let me ask you this, here, brother. Go. According to Quran, the last ayat in Surah al what does that ayat say? The last verse in Surah Refer to her. What does it say? Read it. It says, not the path of those who, you know, go astray. that, you know, some people you know, interpret it as go astray right. or say who your anger comes down on. Right. Which is talking about us, the Jews, the Hebrew Israelites. That's who it's talking about. It's talking about the people, the book. I know it because I studied this for years. And if you would be honest, you know that it's talking about them. Nor the path, the, the last verse is saying, nor the path of those who go astray. It says, not the path upon those whom wrath is brought down. That's the Jews, because they teach that we're the worst people of the book. And, nor on those who go astray, which is the Christians. So, when you look at the historical evidence on that, it's talking about the Hebrew Israelites and the Christians. So, simple and plain, mm -hmm. if you do not believe in a lies messenger, then you are not a Muslim. You're not following Islam. You're considered to be a Catholic. I agree. Point blank period. I agree 100 percent 100 percent Yes, sir, that's the truth. Now, again, with that being established, no okay. to all Muslims, 
I'm, I'm going to ask you this. Okay. Um, you know, if Muhammad, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to back it up with evidence. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Eliezer, are you? Brother in his late 20s. Mm -hmm. um, you got any young daughters? Yes. You have a daughter that's six years old? No. No, okay. Now, you have a daughter that's six years old? I, I'm on wife. Uh, and how old is your daughter? She's currently pregnant right now. How old is your daughter? Five. Five. Now, let me ask you this. If a fifty-three man, if a fifty-three year old man, um, you know, was supposedly marry your daughter, and he finger, he stuck his fingers in her vagina mm -hmm. while she was six, and then he consummated the marriage, meaning he had sex with her when she was nine, nine years old. Would you consider that man a pedophile? Yes. Would you consider that man a rapist? Yes. Because you you can't really say that's mutual with consent. Because while she was six years old, Muhammad, and when did you call your poppet? And I'll show you why we don't follow him. He was finger, um, he was, I'm not going to use the word, F-U-C-K. He was sticking his finger in her vagina, and I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to show you hadiths that show you where he had that young girl sitting between his thighs. Mm. This is why we don't follow Islam. This is why we don't follow Muhammad. If Muhammad was alive today, he would actually be Good on day. trial for being a molester, a murderer, because he killed a lot of believers. Islam was spread by the sword. Hebrew Israelites, now, this is where the great distinction comes in. We did not spread our religion by the sword because we're not religious. Mm -hmm. We had a way of life. When we went to war, it was to defend our land and our people that wanted to convert us over to their beliefs. So we was taught not to mixed with them in the book of Deuteronomy 7 chapter. It told us to kill all of the people in the land when we went in. Mm -hmm. That was Africans. Why? Because the Most High didn't want us following their ways. They was all into homosexuality. They was all into worshiping foreign gods. He said, they're going to make you not follow me. So we was ordered to put them to death. Why? Because we don't deal with religion. We have a way of life. Right. We're supposed to follow laws, statute, and commandments. That's right. right. To Mm. And so, but with okay, it's Islam, plan. it's That's what the camp religion. You do this. You do this. I, I, I said. You I, do that. I, I said. I said before, and I, I'm gonna stick That's to this right. uh, to the grave. Islam is not a religion. It's a natural way of life. It is a faith that's based on a, on a high moral code. Man came up with religion. It's man made. Now, to to comment about the hadith that the prophet had sex, fingered a six-year-old, and consummated with her when she was nine years old. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, um, I read that. Now, any intelligent man, just because someone says something and writes something about a person, hearsay, that doesn't mean it's true. Now, that hadith, I said earlier, come from, most likely you probably got out of Sa'i Muslim, Sa'i Bukhari, what's the source of that idea? So either Sa'i Muslim, Sa'i Bukhari. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that. I, we'll get to that. Right. So, in, any intelligent person knows. They wrote, they said that the prophet did so many things. And we researched, when you look at it, and you research it, and you see where he did something here, and then they say he did something 10 years later here, somebody wrote, which, which completely contradicts the opposite, night and day. So I'm saying that that hadith is false. Okay. There's no way that there's a prophet or a messenger from Allah will come where Allah puts his spirit in his breast to come with a pedophilia or, or a rapist spirit. And by the way, and not to, not to mention, by the way, culture plays a major role during that time and the point. Still today, it was something that they was doing, as they say, that word custom. We was bringing up. And culture. That, that, just because it's the custom, that doesn't mean it's right what they're doing. Just because it's culture, most of that stuff is culture. Mm -hmm. has nothing to do with the true teachings of God and what God culture. puts in the prophet. And by the way, they have, they, there's, there's so many hadiths that I've read about the prophet. They said about the prophet. Absolutely false. Because... The Quran is the authority, not what people write about. That's not true. 
That's not true. The 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 Quran isn't the authority in the Muslim world. The what, Quran what did is your the prophet authority. say? What did your prophet say? I left two things for you. Again, the Quran is my sunnah. You're not talking to someone. The Quran is my sunnah. Thank you. And that sunnah. What is the sunnah? The sunnah is. What is the sunnah, brother Ali? The sunnah is. I'm gonna ask you a question, brother. It's a lifestyle this, this of Muhammad. Is, of course, it's, it's what Muhammad did. Uh, what he said. It's what Muhammad what he did, did. What he didn't do. Hold on. Right. That's true. But brother, what, what I'm telling my brother Tazad, I can because I love his spirit. I love mm. his passion. <laughs> that, that, no, no, no. I'm gonna wake no, some Muslims up. No, 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 no. I, I said he got a war in his hand. Mm. So, what? So what I'm saying to my brother mm. is that I'm not gonna refute that the prophet didn't say that. He did say my, the Quran and my Sunnah. So what is what? the Sunnah? Let's stop. Okay, okay, I gotta get okay, the brothers. Okay, okay. I gotta get the brothers. Okay. It's not one in Islam. Well, okay, we and gave. Them, I, gave the I gave him the definition of Sunnah. You know what the Sunnah is? The lifestyle sunnah. of the prophet. What he said. Where's the lifestyle recorded? It's like Buddha. Oh, hold on. Almost like. I'm getting to. Where's the lifestyle recorded? It's recorded in authentic hadith. Authentic, authentic. But every hadith is that authentic. Things that I've been quoted. Brother, that is his brother, lifestyle. Every, brother, everything that you quote, that that doesn't mean it's true because hey, somebody wrote something. All of you Muslims out there in the sound of my voice, I want you to find out what is the most authentic hadith the, in the world. The, You're the gonna most, find out. It's first. You. Sahih Baghdadi, no, 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 no. Sahih Muslim. Brother, I, I, I That's agree. what Muslims are going to teach. I agree that the Sahih Muslim. That's what the Muslims from Mecca I agree teach. that Sahih Muslim and Bukhari, presently today, is the two hadiths around the Muslim world cool. that is recommended as the closest truth to the Sunnah recommended by Muslims to read. Those are Sunnah However, teachers. however, there's many other hadiths written by many other scholars in Islam, but. However, I have not read hadiths that was written by any of the Sahaba, meaning the companions of the Prophet, the one who was written, because a lot of them wrote too. Now those with their name, in other words, they write it and then they sign their signature. But they're not I considered to be but I think they're, they're, they're considered is one thing and is is another. So it is considered Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. But anybody with any any spiritual in depth, let me use that term. Anybody with any spiritual proudness in their heart and mind read something like that and think in their mind, said, Muhammad really did that? I would have to say, I'm telling you right now, I will never believe he done such a, uh, act, and then use the language, modern language today, and say pedophilia, rapist, whoremonger, child molester. Mm -hmm. Look, this is not what God does. He does not put the breast the spirit in the press of, that. of that, that, I'm saying the same thing they record stuff on the uh, lies about no, Jesus, no, Yahshua. No, the same thing they record lies about Mo, Mo, no, Moshe no, 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 and every no, other prophet, no, especially no. especially Yahshua. Look how many lies they write about him that, that they said he said. And but he not said. in the Bible. That is not in our book. Brother, this, the Hadith is not in the Quran. Yeah, but again, The Hadith is not in the Quran. Again, brother. That is not in the Quran. No, let's not play some men. I'm not going to give you. You so, said what I'm saying is right. It's not in the Bible. A brother, what they said about Jesus, you're absolutely right. It's not in, in, in the Bible. In order to be a Muslim, do I not have to believe in Muhammad? Yes, of so course. I'm, this is, of I'm, course. I'm building a foundation so it goes back to Of saying, course, but the teaching also teaches in Islam, the yeah. fitra, you're born on the fitra. Brother, we believe that everything is. But the definition of Muslim, let's get this off the top, first of all. The, he knows that. He said he practiced the deen, the faith. Deen means faith, by the way. The definition of Islam, I mean Muslim, is he or she who completely and totally and entirely submits their will to do the will of God. And you that, must accept that is, his messenger. Okay, listen, I agree. <laughs> that, that is the definition of a Muslim. No, you got to accept and that Islam, part. You can't just say some of it. Brother, no, I, I agree, brother. I say yes. Wait. Brother, so, now, so since that's the definition of Muslim, <laughs> that the creation, we, we, we're taught in Islam. That everything Allah created, right, Brother Najib? Isn't this the teachings of Islam and the principles? Here's the teachings. That everything he created is a Muslim. The trees are Muslims. The insects are Muslim. The That's stars semantics. is Muslim. That's semantics. That's the moon is Muslim. You can't Hold play on, that wait with a minute. Me. Wait a minute, brother. I'm not using some. I'm telling you what we what we what the teachings is. Okay. The teachings is that everything Allah created, the stars and the all the planets, they do, they do the will of Allah. When you, so see, Muslim. when you see an insect, whatever an insect does, so you right? see when you, when you see, it no, it's not semantics. I'm telling you what the teaching is. If I don't say la ilaha, 
illallah. Hold, hold it. Right. If I stop right here, if I say right. la ilaha illallah. Right. And Muhammad, Muhammad no, 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 if I don't say that. If right. I don't say Muhammad or Rasulullah, I'm not Muslim. That's what Islam teaches. But, but, but if you say la ilaha illallah, that you yeah. believe in Allah and one God. That's right. Right? That doesn't make me Muslim. No, that's I've true. got to yeah, believe have, in Muhammad. That's true. That's my point. That's true. You're not talking to a novice. Brother, I'm, so, I'm agreeing with you. What, what more you want me to say? Yes, okay, you're correct. Okay. So, now, what, now, hold on. Okay, come on, let's go. Every time I try and make a point, you try and bring it back and you start throwing a semantic. Uh, brother, I don't, I don't know. Throw, that's brother, I, don't, I don't use semantics and you know Let me that. speak, brother. Mm -hmm. Go. You're saying that's not what a Muslim is. But yeah, the point blank period. If you don't, despite what the brother Ali said, take it for someone that's studied his faith. If you don't believe well, in you Muhammad, study it, but I live. you're not Muslim. You study it, but I live. You're not Muslim. No matter no, how no, kind of semantics no, no, you try no, to No, 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 he's right. I'm saying if you don't believe, listen, if, look, if, if you don't say la ilaha illallah, let me confirm what he's saying. Look, I don't know what you want me to do. If when you don't say la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, then you are not considered in practice a follower of the of the Quran and, and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Is that good enough to answer that? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Now, now with that, now with that, Muhammad said this: "I leave two things for you: this Quran and the Sunnah, Sunnah, which means his way of life. That's right. The way that he lived. That's right. So to be a perfect Muslim, or to be the best Muslim you could be, right? You're supposed to follow his example, emulate the example. That's of Muhammad. Exactly. That's true. Point period. That's true. You see how um." Yahweh Shah said in Philippians 2 verse what 5. About, what about um, Mashiach though? That ain't, what? You, don't, you can't, ain't what? Don't follow, you don't follow the Mashiach. Who, 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 who you talking about? Esau and Salaam? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah we follow his example also. You don't follow and we follow yeah. Abraham's yeah. example. Okay. And we follow Moses' no, you example. No, not, brother. Wow. Hey, brother, I don't, okay. know, I don't know what Muslim you was taught under. We follow the, listen, the watch final me. example is the prophet Muhammad. Watch, watch me just Brother, quote. the final example oh, no. that we follow is the last Now, prophet. you made a bold statement. Now, and, and, and I'm not I'm taking it back. I'm going to show you how you don't pull. You, I'm you not follow. taking it back. Okay. Yeah, how was Shai taught that we're supposed to keep the Shabbat? The Shabbat is not on what you recall Juma. That's what Muhammad stole when he was traveling amongst the Jews, when he was a traitor, when he was working for Khadijah, when he was a traitor, he traded amongst our people. Brother, there's he an took, argument in the scripture no, of the they, Torah. I can no, he that. took, he took, he took. Brother, 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 that's another topic and you know that. But you know the Hebrews themselves. The Hebrew no, you're just saying you follow on. us. I'm so, going to show you how you do Okay, so, okay, so show me how. No, no, I said, now, how I said show, the example of Yahshua. Okay, he, he said to keep the Shabbat. He said to keep the Lord. Oh, uh, brother, the, uh, Muslims brother, don't keep brother, the Lord. Brother, 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 the Jews today don't even follow Shabbat, y'all just told me. I said they, them Europeans made it all no, up. We're not talking about okay, that. Even the but, hold on, even those who call themselves do. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, they, hold on, I'm not saying they don't, because I don't, I, I've never, listen, I've never practiced it. Did I not say yesterday, get me a book? Get me up from point A to Z. The best this book. is all in Torah. Hold on. The best, I was about to say, that's the best. Well, book well, book well I read the Torah, Torah, but I'm saying. To, to the, brother, the brother, verses, brother, verses brother, brother, on how to how to the so ritual the ritual practice when Shabbat comes in on Friday, what you supposed to do until Saturday, over. sung over. Mm -hmm. I need a detailed, just like you write a book. Now you wrote a book explaining the Torah it's in, it's in and explain. Book. Okay, Quote. I want. Oh yeah, it is in this book. Right, I want to see. As a Muslim. You got a copy of it. Okay, I, yeah, I got a copy. Yeah, so go ahead. Look All right, okay, well, what page is it on, bro? I don't Just remember the page. Okay. You got an index in there. Yeah. Okay, it's index. Okay, okay. okay. So I'm going to read that and, and see detail, detail, how you practice the true Shabbat. Right. Now, and I bet you, now, I bet you a million dollars that, and I can, I, we can, as Muslims, we can prove this also. When it's time for Arafat, that the time to celebrate Moshe, when he was the, the children of Israel was delivered out of the hands of the bondage of, 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 of uh, and, and, and in Islam we call it we say Farum, meaning Pharaoh. We have, we have what we fast, right? We pray, we cleanse ourselves in honor of of, of of Moshe. So what I'm saying is, I'll admit we, we we don't do everything to the letter. Muslims don't follow Muhammad to the letter right now today. His example, and they Muslims, including myself. I don't do everything Muhammad done. I don't. But I'm striving to do to the best of my ability to follow the example of Muhammad. And the same thing like the Hebrew Israelites today. Mm -hmm. They're striving to the best of their ability to follow the teachings of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. But they don't do it okay, to yeah. the letter. Like, for, like, 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 hold on. Like, like, for an example, a lot of the Hebrew Israelites today who say they follow Yahshua, 
And I asked them, what is their diet like? What do they eat? This is one example. Right? I see them eating everything. But they can eat that. No, I'm just saying. That, but, that's but, not, that's not. That's an example. But that's not. But that's an you, example. That's not what you would call. We, listen, don't, 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 don't we follow the eat how the prophet ate? Don't we? Yeah, follow? that's my don't, point. That's, that's the point example. that I'm trying to make. Okay. That you're not letting me make. Okay, like, make the point, brother. There's Go. nowhere. You can't take something that um, Yahweh has made um, like. Mm -hmm. Lawful to be unlawful. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, let me I finish, agree. Mm -hmm. If you see this brother eating a Twinkie, that's your personal vendetta mm -hmm. when you say, uh, oh, you can't eat this. If you go and take that, you should pay to pay for that. Mm -hmm. You can't just go and take a Twinkie from this man because he's eating it. There's nothing in the Torah that says you can't eat that. It tells us we're not supposed to eat pork. So what we do. Brother, is intelligence eat, would tell anybody. No, intelligence. That's, that's your personal you, opinion. No, no, we know. We, 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 We're dealing with brother, the law. Brother, listen, the law says, in your scriptures, in the Torah, no, the law teaches, hold on a minute, the law teaches in the Torah to eat a clean and healthy diet, brother. That's a fact. No, it doesn't teach that. But see, again, you're playing with words. But Wait a minute. You're saying from Genesis to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy doesn't teach to eat a clean and lawful diet. No, a, a righteous diet. Yeah, you you change you a lawful you diet. You can't change the words. Okay, healthy a lawful diet. Wait, wait, brother, a lawful diet in the sight of God got to be clean and pure. But the the brother does eat a lawful diet. No, I didn't say he didn't eat a lawful diet. Yeah, I'm saying ahead. should not the Hebrew but, Israelites eat a lawful diet? But hold on. Yes or no? I, I can't. I can't. Hold like, on. Like, like we just should not they obey the diet and the laws of the Torah? I eat meat. I'm I asking you. Um, no, I'm asking. Should they not obey the dietary laws of the Torah? They do. They do. Okay, I'm not saying they don't. But shouldn't them? Shouldn't what they eat be healthy and clean? No, no. You see, that's wow. semantics, right? There. That's semantics. That's their personal. So, so you're if it's their me, will to eat healthy. You, you're telling me that you the even, Creator. You're asking me a question. If you're not going to let me answer. But but the scriptures is, is proof that you should be eating healthy and. Oh, oh the scriptures the don't say that, man. It says it doesn't say it directly like you're supposed to eat healthy and organic. No, it doesn't. The scripture doesn't say that. Yeah, don't say that. But no. when you read, hold on, Aki, beloved. It doesn't tell us he's healthy. Brother, I'm t listen. It tells you intelligent, what form was not healthy. Intelligent, okay. Which is, should, which should, is healthy. Basically, should not. Hold on. The creator we're talking. Not. The creator now, which is pure, which is omnipotent. So that's omnipotent. Your personal, that's your no, personal, I'm, you no I'm, it's not personal. According to the scriptures, the, 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 show me the scriptures. Yeah, Yahweh. Yahweh. Give me a scripture that Yahweh tells you is holy. Know. Holy, it says. That's a, when you look the word holy in Hebrew, it means set apart. Set apart. That's all it means. Separate. It just means set apart. Well, that's right. Set apart from what? Yeah, I mean. From what's lawful and what's unlawful. Right. Yeah, but right. lawful, and so, law, lawful and unlawful has nothing to do with healthy. So you're saying. You can't condemn someone. Are you serious? Yeah, that has nothing to do with you saying you saying that when you do something unlawful in the teachings of the Hebrew Israelite, no matter what the law is, that's not unhealthy to you? You're trying, and I'm not talking about just food and drink. You're trying to use the. If you look up, get a dictionary and define the word law. And brother, I know what help. lawful. I okay, know what the Torah says. Thing. You you can't use the word brother, lawful. Brother, brother, intelligent, intelligent people know. You can't use the word lawful with healthy. They're not synonymous. No, that's not what they I'm saying. They don't even mean the brother, but brother, that's how you're using it. No, I'm not. I'm saying I'm using the word lawful and, and unlawful. What I'm saying is, uh, according to the law, the dietary law of the Hebrew Scriptures. From what I've read, everything is, is healthy food. Okay, let me just say that. From what I've read, it's not healthy. I didn't I, I didn't read no Twinkies in there, no Dr. Pepper, no Monastery, no MSG. Everything I've read in the, those five books, I've read pomegranates, garlic, vegetables, lentil bean soup, barley bread, fish, black seed oil. Black seed oil, meat, olives. everything. I'll, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, stop, brother. Because you know, you know, like I know, beloved. I know y'all can eat lamb and 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 goat, and I know they have to clean. Okay, meats. okay, clean, whole kosher. I know, uh, party. I know that your diet is is party. So that's the point I'm making. And you cannot, and you know, a lamb, a lamb during the time of Yahshua. But my, the, you, you compared to a lamb today. You're going way off of my point, my brother. My point is... But I'm not you, going off the point. Go. You can't... You know, it becomes your oh. personal um, intervention when you start to say, you shouldn't drink that soda. That's a personal intervention. The scripture... According to the that, scripture, you shouldn't drink soda. No, well, show me that. It says we should... Oh, don't, I, brother, I can show you... The scripture don't say that, brother. Watch this. Okay. The okay, scripture okay, says okay, we shouldn't on. drink strong drink. 
Right. That's something brother, like liquor, brother, or something heavy. Brother, the scripture yeah. doesn't have to say, listen. So you know, yeah. you know, I'm gonna let me quote it. You said show you the scripture. Yeah, according right. to your own No, I'm a, according to your own words, you're not supposed okay, to add on, on to hold the words on. of a Hold on, wait, I'm not adding I'm gonna quote so the scripture. Don't add things. About about if should he were mm-hmm. Israelites, I know the, the Torah, dietary law. Okay, so shouldn't the dietary law be healthy? Good for you. This is this. Just see, answer the question. The words, no, it's not. Should, a question so, that so, so you recommend Hebrew Israelites eat Twinkies and drink Dr. Yeah, pepper? That's what you're saying. No, no, I'm asking you. No, should a Hebrew no, Israelite, a believer in the, the Most High, and following Yahshua? That's not the point that I'm should making. Should they not eat healthy, based on their Torah? I'm not going to say that because that's not the point that should I'm trying they, to establish. My point is, you can't take. The um, Bible or the Torah and say. I can show you, brother, verse after verse. Why don't you let me talk, verse. man? Okay, go, go. You can't take the Bible or the Torah and say, this man can't eat soda, this man can't eat a Twinkie, this man can't eat a chocolate cake. I, First of all. I can suggest that if that's for, my brother in faith. But sure, it's not I'm law. My point is, it's not law. That's a portion It is law to eat the righteous food of the scripture, brother. That, that's law. You're not supposed to eat the food of your enemy. Of show, me, show, show me that in scripture. A Twinkie, brother, I, I can, if you're I can show you. Where you going here? Brother, show me, show brother, me that in scripture. Brother, if we ain't, mm-hmm. oh, listen, even in captivity, in this, in this America, we can, we can, if we want to, the most high, right? The most high we, can eat, we, we can eat organic all day. Look, we the most high we can plant that, our own garden. Most, in fact, the scriptures say that really we're supposed to be planting our look, own garden listen, and growing our own food. That's in yeah, our I, own I, home. Think, I think what, what he's trying to get at is, you know, that's not a salvation determining factor. You see what I'm saying? A soda or a Twinkie. Well, well, the Muslim. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, when when you try and say that the brother shouldn't drink a soda, he shouldn't. um, He shouldn't. I mean, I'm saying. My point is, I'm saying you shouldn't. That's personal. Because it's not good for you. That's not not healthy for you. That's not. And and I love you as a brother, and I know you're a man, a righteous man of God. So I want to, I want to protect you. If I know that something's going to go into your temple, that I know for a fact, making you some diabetes or some other crazy. You know, mess up your liver or something. I'll be like, brother, no. Here, drink this pomegranate juice because the word pomegranate is all through the talk. But I'm saying, if you do that, then if this man can't afford that, then you buy it for Okay, we can do that too. That's that's righteous right there. We can do that too. But you can't just say because you got it's no 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 no. I'm I'm, no no. I'm just suggesting. I'm not telling him don't do it. Don't do it. Eat what he wants. But I'm I'm just making a recommendation. The only foods that we could actually tell our brothers not to eat. Is the unlawful. It's unlawful. It's unlawful. It's unlawful. Lawful. Lawful. And I agree. That's, that's something the in the sea that that's don't have scales, I, by any kind of shellfish, lobsters, crabs, oysters, things of that nature. Reptiles. That's unlawful. The swine. Anything that was actually the swine, the sea, the swine. The fruit. But the, the swine's not in the sea. No, no, the I said the swine. No, I'm talking about. Yeah. I know he's on the land. Yeah, like the swine, raccoons, all that mm-hmm. nonsense. The scripture Possibly. tells you all of that. They tell you not. All right, you but eat all that. Those right. are unclean it's animals. Cool. Right. But junk food unclean too, though. Right? I mean. Like, yeah, junk food. No, when you get that's not scriptural. It, what it I'm saying, brother, 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 see, that's like brother, saying, brother, that's it's like saying all sex is, is unlawful. No. Yeah, yeah. My, no, my point brother, is, brother, brother mm-hmm. if the food you is, see what I'm saying? Listen, 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 you see what I'm saying, though, right? Listen, unlawful, listen, food, to that. unlawful food is not the food that's ordained, that has been ordained by the Creator. A Twinkie has not been ordained by God. Dr. Pepper has not been ordained by God. Doritos have not been ordained by God. That's a fact. Okay, show, a, and every candy bar you got on the market. Okay, so but go and show me one scripture where it says that is not. Because he Now, that's, he, now, now, now I can he say that's the man. Well, he gave, no, it's not. Be, because, because, because when he because, gave us because, the foods that was lawful, he also gave us a list of foods that's an unlawful. Look, that's my point. So show me, Dari, sh- show me those things in there. Now, we know we can't eat I, okay, Doritos. I, okay, I, I tell you it doesn't what. have a pork bun. I, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'll tell you what. Hold this chocolate, for another topic. Chocolate grow I, listen, like plants. listen, I tell you what. He said to show me. Sugar grow like in this, plants. In the Torah. In fact, chocolate hold on, in wait a minute. Is actually hold healthy hold, hold on, wait, wait a Right, in the pure form. Wait a minute. He said to show him in scripture. What, brother? Where it doesn't. With, with, about the food. Where it you don't eat it. Where it says don't, where, 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 where says don't, don't drink a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Okay. Show me that scripture. What, I tell you what. I tell you what. Now, I don't drink it, but I'm making a point that you can't take something that's not lawful. I will show you. Watch this. I mean, just lawful and make an unlawful. Listen, listen. I'm not doing that. I'm saying that's exactly you, what you do. That don't, that's, no, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you something that I know for a fact. If Moshe, if Moshe was among us today, right no, now, no, no, sitting no, here, so, so, no, I'm just saying, no, I, I, I know I didn't say that. I'm just, I'm just so h- hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, right? As spiritual men, if Moshe 
Yahshua, Ibrahim, who else? Daoud, and Muhammad, those are five major prophets, were sitting right here now, to, today, 2016, all five of them. I'm asking, I'm asking, do you think they, do you think they would be eating all natural, organic, no. or no, because they would be in the same or, situation. Or, or as junk us. food. Or, or, yeah. or eating a Twinkie or a Dr. Pepper. If was they here, That's my point. If they was here today, they would be in the same situation as us. So they would be eating the same thing because they would be in the captivity. Up, so I'm going to continue on with this. Now, if Muhammad, let's say this. If Muhammad was alive today, he would actually be in jail on death row. First thing he would be on death row for is child molestation and being a pedophile. Now, you're, you're saying I, I, that. But that's I mean, false. Let me finish. Let me finish, brother. That. You know what I mean? that hadith is false. Okay. Got to be. So you don't believe in Hat Sahib Bakari? No, no, no. You don't believe I said, Sahib Muslim? I said, no. Then you're not a Muslim. No, no, it's point not true. Point, according to brother, their... Brother, I'm a Muslim, and I believe in okay. Sahib Bakari. In order for you to be on the team... I'm saying every hadith in that Sahib Bakari and Sahib Muslim... Yeah. So you got to pick and choose. No, now you're no pick it's, and not, choose. it's not a pick and choose. It's intelligence, yeah. brother. It's spirit. No, it's not. No, it's spirit not. and intelligence. It's when you read you, something, when you read, brother, do you really think the prophet It's showing you that this man is not now, worthy I'm asking to be you. followed. I'm kidding. Do, That's what shows no, me. I'm, well, it doesn't show me that. Because I, because but, I, because in my heart of heart, in my spirit, I don't Well, let me bring it out. Let, I don't believe he Let them something. hear it so they can see why they shouldn't be following this. <laughs> because they shouldn't be. It says six year I mean, old. I mean, if he really did that, then no, they should. Six but year, I don't believe he done such a thing. Six year, but that's but your you know belief. You that's not right. what the Hadith says. And there's says. no proof. And there's no, hold on, brother. But you know, just because, but you know, just because the Hadith says something. There's a lot of people something. using that, though, to do that. I know this, like, brother. There was, there was a, no, they're supposed brother, to emulate it. There's, there's people brother, that's, bringing it, that's brother, doing it now. For real, brother, like, it's a lot of people brother, using brother, that. Brother, right now, they're using right now in the Yemen. Uh -huh. They still believe in slavery. They got slaves over there still today. Okay, listen to this. That doesn't make it right. Six year right old. Right now, they, 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 they believe that marrying young to girls, nine, because ten, Because you don't want people okay. to know the truth. So I'm, I'm okay, going to hit so. you. He don't want me to bring this out because he don't want no, people I to want know. No, I want you to bring it out. Let, let me, let me speak. <laughs> you don't want people to know the truth <laughs> about Islam. But I'm going to expose it. Watch this. Now, six year old Aisha, mm. you know, who was Muhammad's wife at the time. Now, the brother said this is not authentic. Then why are so many Muslims um, following this? Again, they say the most authentic hadith is Bakari and Muslim. And this is what this is taken for. And I'm going to give you the, um, the, the, where it's found in those hadiths. It says the prophet, um, you know, her duties were to clean semen stains from the prophet's clothes at six years old. Six years old. The prophet would take a bath with the young girl Aisha between his thigh at six years old. Um, um, the baby Aisha, meaning she was too small to be penetrated, so he would take his penis and rub it up and down her thigh and against her vagina. This is what he done to this little girl. So, being a man of mercy, it says, he did not penetrate the baby Aisha until she was nine. So, when, he, when she was nine, it was consummated. Meaning he had sex with a nine-year-old girl. Now, this is according to their authentic hadiths. It's not something I'm making up. You can't blame me, so you need to go and have a look at the hadith. So the Quranic text makes it clear that Muhammad married her when she was six years old. I mean, when she was six, and he actually had sex when she was nine, when she was nine years old. Now, for a marriage to be, to be deemed legally, even with us, sex. you have to have sex. You gotta have sex with him to be legally deemed it has to be sex. Mm -hmm. So you have to have sex with that woman for her to be your wife. Mm -hmm. So the hadith clearly proves that Muhammad, Muhammad was a pedophile. Mm -hmm. If this is true, it's and true. I concur that it is. Because I concur that it's not Again, true. yeah, he said from his own mouth. Now, let me ask you this. They wrote all these good things about him in the books, and the prophet did this. They used to always tell me, man. The, um, their moms. Oh, brother, oh, this is haram. Your, your, your pants is dragging the floor, pull it up. Or oh, on the day of judgment, the fire is going to burn your ankle in the hellfire. This is the sunnah. This is hadith. This is taken from Sahih Bukhari. Mm. So, why is some hadith, you know, another thing they taught me never take your left shoe off first. Always take your right shoe, always put your right shoe on, then your left shoe. I'm saying, put your right shoe on first, then put your left. When you step out of the door, these are all hadiths. I'm not making them up. Go and check it out for yourself. That's true. You got to step out with your right foot. Step in so, and step out. And, and step out. So why mm. were these 
you know, good. He's saying this is true. But why is the other why, stuff why the that he done to this young girl, right. this pedophilia I stuff, not true? You see what I'm saying? saying. Yeah, it's yeah. coming from the same so-called authentic hadith. Okay, just because somebody says something. Uh, again, see? Listen. Mm -hmm. So, but the other no. stuff is true. You see what I'm going no, with No, this? no, 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 yeah. no, no. It, he's right. That mm -hmm. when you read the Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Bukhari, which I read, look, some of the ayat, the, the, the hadiths, I don't agree with, even though they say it's authentic. All right, now, uh, another okay. hadith. Uh, another. I mean, so, you know, just because, I'm, yeah, I'm going to stick to my guns on that. I told you, you got to warn this thing. Muhammad raped just a retarded because, woman. Just because. Is that brother, hadith? Brother, that, that, I read that. Yeah, well, Listen. Raped the, the retarded woman. That's, that's what they say. Wow. Had sex with his dead aunt. Look. How about that? Look, brother. That's what it is. Brother, 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 you know. This is how deep. That, that, he's telling me, no, no I don't I'm, believe I'm, it, I'm but it's in how deep. I'm telling you, but any. Why any, am I saying this? Because I'm showing you why I left Islam. Okay, well, okay, that's good. When I started reading these okay, books. Okay, that's good. But that, that well, just because just, just, just you read something, that doesn't mean. Who are the people who wrote that? Brother, 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 I'll tell you what. The men that was around. No, 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 no. That is, man. Sahih Muslim. And Sahih Bukhari was well, what made, what time made time. them? It, it was okay. passed down. They, Look, they, they were from Iran uh, and, and what they called uh, Turkish, Turkey and Iran. Is, mm. That's what he was from. Okay. The Sahih Bukhari and Imam Muslim. So he know he knows that. So no, they wasn't, they wasn't Arabs, and they wasn't born to. And by the way, brother, but that, that's not how that's they got to a hadith. Brother, what a hadith is is that we know watched hadith. the prophet that was literally around this man. Right. They watch him do stuff. Right. And they wrote it down. Right. And then, right. to make sure it wasn't tampered with, that was passed down. Well, well, and the stop. exact same thing. Stop right there. Wow. Until brother, it got to make about. sure, I heard he said, to make sure it wasn't tampered with. Stop. See? Stop. I'm about to get it. But the other thing is your phone. You, you see what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen. Uh, yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, come yeah, on, let's do it. No, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Hold on a minute. No, no. Wait a minute, brother. Hold on. Hold on. But why would they write that? Yeah, why would they write it? Why would they mix that? Why would they mix that? Watch this. Why would they mix why would they mix that with the good stuff? Listen, right. brother, brother, th listen. I, 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 I can use this argument with the Torah. No. Sure you can't. Can. You can't but Why do they write things about... Stop. Why do they write that's things not about That's not in the Yashua? scripture. It's it's not, that's not in the Quran, what he's talking. It's, it's, that's it's not something, Quran. something they're talking about. It follow. goes back to what Muhammad said. Well, look the at the things. The brother, Quran and brother, Sunnah. Brother, brother, look at the things that they write, that they have written about Yahshua. Jesus, but mm -hmm. it's not that the Christians fought. Hold on, I know that it's not in the in the, in the engine. But the hadith is not in your books. But I, yeah. the, no, 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 it, it isn't. Wait a minute. It's a way of life. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Quran. Wait a minute. The, Quran, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, okay. the gospel. The gospel. I mean, that makes it even worse. Watch this. Watch that this. makes it even worse because okay. because 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 they took well, from the gospel and made up things about Yahshua. Right okay, now, well, today, we go straight to the book. Is, we just go straight okay. to the book. We know it ain't, it ain't my, true. My, well, my, even my if you ask, answer this question without ideas, mm -hmm. is there any way to know Sunnah? No, 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 wow, no, wow. no, and, wow. and, and that's good. That, wow. And that's good. Yeah, that's, Look, that's watch, this, watch, this, yeah. watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Without the gospel, which, which, which he didn't write, by the way. Yahshua wasn't the author. Without the gospel, wait a minute, any other wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, let me finish. Uh, yeah. Without the gospel, mm -hmm. I'm talking about Yahshua himself, mm -hmm. and what they said he said, mm -hmm. remember, he didn't write. Mm -hmm. would, would there be any other is, way for us to know? Is yeah, there, the is Torah. There any, no, hold on, hold on. To follow. Yeah. The example yeah. of Esau. Yeah, the Torah. It's the, the Torah. Torah. Are you certain about that? Yes, because he's well, in the Torah. The case, watch this. Then if that's the case, then we're in trouble. Because the, all the different that, the Hebrews I see running around, they ain't following Moses, they ain't following Esau, they ain't following they follow, nobody. They, 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 they're making up all kinds of stuff. No, the they, same thing these Muslims have been doing mm -hmm. over the centuries. So that's the point I'm but making. No, just because, that's not just, the same thing. Just because, sure it is. No. Just because someone writes something about somebody's life, that they did something. But that's that something that, that's true. a record Another that y'all follow as a Another book. High Do you not understand it? Brother, brother, understand We're not it. following what they wrote at, for Yahweh Shah as a sure, book. You, 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 
brother. We're not book, following that next. As a book? That sunnah is what y'all following. Of course. We're following course. the Torah of the Most the High. Torah and the prophets. Right. Are you really? Yeah. Are all yes. the Hebrew Israelites following the Torah of the say, Most High? I ain't we saying that. We, we teach. We teach that you, teach that that you follow the Torah. But y'all Muslims, all the Muslims follow that. Listen, we Muslims, we Muslims teach that the Muslims. that, that, that. What is it called? The sunnah. The sunnah. Right. The hadiths. And we also teach, before the hadiths, before the Quran, you playing. It was the Torah. You playing right oh, now. No, no, I'm telling you. Playing, you really playing no, I'm right telling now. you straight up. You the playing Quran. right now. Brother, 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 brother. I ain't never seen him playing. He's no, playing I'm, right now, I'm not playing. Now, I'm telling you the truth. You playing. The Torah, the Torah, playing. we believe it. You playing yeah. right now. now and we believe, believe in, and, and most of sure we do. Yeah, and we believe in all the, I, I said it earlier. But, but, but the high so, so, so imams listen, from listen, Mecca tell listen, you brother, it was temple Listen, brother, with, listen. That's why it was necessary listen, to bring listen, the Listen, brother, cross. listen. I'm telling you. For the night of power. I, I'm telling you that people lie on people. Mm -hmm. People make up things. Calm. I'm true. telling you, I don't believe that. <laughs> now, some of it is true, just like in the scriptures. Certain things in the, in the Torah. I can say, like when it talks about women, some, some, Multiple, some uh, hold on, wait a minute, cannibalism. Uh-huh. It's cannibalism in Second Kings. Right. I don't believe that shit. I'm not, I believe, I'm not I believe, the Torah. Okay, well, I don't when believe it. When the Israelites are talking about it, we eat not baby kids. I'm just saying. Hey, but that was frowned upon. I don't eat McDonald's. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I'm saying that story. But it's frowned upon, though. I know, it's frowned upon. But what I'm saying is, the Torah is the Torah. Right, right, right. Now, I know it's frowned upon. But what I'm saying is, there's certain things in the Torah that I read, right? That I said, like when it said, look, it said that God. In Isaiah, mm -hmm. it said that the Lord God shaved with a razor, that the Creator shaved. You gotta show me that. Man. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 let me no, finish this up. Show me that. Let me finish this up. Show says that in Isaiah, <laughs> that the Lord shaved Isaiah, with a razor. Isaiah, what? Well, I, well, hey, I, let, let, let me uh, reference what uh, I was saying. I, 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 I'll get it later. But uh, I'm uh, uh, Trust hey, me. let me reference what I was saying because I want people to be able to go to these sources that I'm citing. So they won't be able to see that I'm just making this stuff. No, 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 no. The source is equal well, to the right. I, 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 but that I, I, doesn't mean what you're saying is the truth, brother, okay. because somebody wrote something okay. about, about the life of the prophet. They told many lies. Okay. I said I said this. Right, let me put this out. Yeah, there's let thousands it, of lies, hadiths written about the prophet. Let me bring this out because our people need to yeah, hear Yeah, let, let them bring it out first. Okay, okay yeah. Muhammad's marriage to six-year-old Aisha could be found in Sahih al-Baqari, <laughs> volume 5, um, book 58. That's true. Number 234 and 236. I read that. That's true. Aisha cleans Muhammad's semen stains. Mm. Can be found in Sahih al Baqari, wow. Volume 1, Book 4, Number 229 to 233. Muhammad fondling Aisha doing her menses when her period was on, in other words. Now you know that. And bro, that's, that's it's a law against us. It's a law against us. It's a law against us. Stop, against us. This, stop, no, I, stop. This you, is how deep. Right, brother, you're an intelligent man. Brother, this you're is how deep. You're a spiritual man. Is now, you should man? know when you read anything, that nonsensical. Uh, it's, that's it's, just insane. <laughs> that, that, look, man, that's ridiculous, man. That, <laughs> in fact, that's an insult. Hey, that's brother, an insult in the sight of God. This is what your high deep says. Listen, 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 man. Now, I'm wrong, man. I don't be wrong, brother. brother. If I'm, right, I'm quoting brother, the no, hadith. No, no, I'm not saying you're wrong for quoting what you're quoting. I'm saying it's what you're quoting. I'm okay. saying you being a spiritual man. Let me ask man, you this, brother. I done read some things that they said about Jesus, right? Let me ask right? you this. But we're about waiting for you to show us one. That Just I know doesn't one, make sense. Because I'm showing sure you many. I'm showing sure you many. We're waiting for you to show us one. But my point is this. What is the basis for you taking all the positive things about Muhammad and saying, yeah, that's right. But... When I bring out the negative things from the same books, you're saying no, but we can't believe that. Okay, okay, my base. Man. Okay, let me Come answer. On, man. Okay, let, let me answer. My, ask you a question. First of all, I'm not making a justification to pick and choose because the hadith one one is true and one doesn't make sense. I don't have that type of spirit. I don't think like that. So how can we? You're not, you're not dealing with that kind of man. Hold on, I'm just telling you. I'm answering your question. Now, I can I can go through the Torah. Not, not, not anything written after the life of Jesus. Because there's many books written about Jesus, by the way. Hundreds, thousands of them, from what I'm hearing. We don't go by it. I, 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 I didn't say you follow. I can read from, if I can read your scriptures itself, myself, and say to all, every Hebrew, look, you know, I don't agree with that. And, and then turn another page, but I agree with that. 
And I turn another page. I agree with that. But we can't. But the next trip, we don't I, do I, that. I, I say, well, well that, that's what I'm telling you in the Quran. I'm not backing down from the Quran. But you just said yeah, I got some stuff that you agree with. And that you no, I said the Hadith. Soon, I didn't say the Quran. I said yeah, the oh, hadith. See, we, yeah, we don't do the hadith. No, 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 I'm not talking but, about the hadith. But he said if they didn't have a hadith, you wouldn't be able to follow the second the part, right? You can't follow the prophet. Yeah. Because that he before he died, he said I leave two things. This Quran and my Sunnah, meaning my way of life. Well well didn't well didn't Yahshua leave a, a Sunnah too? I uh, never I mean he don't they don't call it Sunnah. Wait, wait now. He didn't leave an example for the Hebrews to live yeah. by how he lived, yeah. and, and that's the right? parallel. And what? No, no, no. I'm saying in the in, in the gospel, what, what they call saying? the gospel. Oops, what's mm -hmm. what's okay, what saying? so that's all I'm saying. So uh -huh. just because it ain't, it ain't ten books. Hey, but watch this. Watch this. Watch this. About his life. You can't. But when you read his life, that should put you in your mind. When Give you me. read the gospel, hey, okay. This. How did he eat? What did he do? What did he didn't do? When you read it, it's not saying it's 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 it's, uh, it's after. Well, 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 why would, why would this is my point? Right? I'm this just trying to figure out why would the people write that? No, but this is my point. Around him, give brother, me, brother, brother. You cannot fathom the depth of Satan and what he will do. Brother, give me one. Of so our you books. ask me why people? That you, you answered your question. Uh, the, uh, the people, the, uh, the, uh, human beings. The give me one of our together. books that we accept as Hebrew. Now, watch this. Watch this. Muslims, if they are true Muslims. They accept the Quran That's and true. they accept Sunnah. I, point, I, point, I, period. That's right. They accept I, I do, 100%. Now, give me, so that means this is in their books. The Sunnah is their books. Give me one of our books that we follow as Israelites mm -hmm. that show us where Hamashiach Yahawashah stuck his finger up a little girl. None. There's none. Her period was there's over. none. There's That's none. That's what my mom did. Brother, no, no, no. Stop. Don't say Brother, it. it's right because, here. Uh, uh, brother, I just said again. So he just, because, just because yeah. you read something. Hold on. See, that's not an argument. That's not even an argument. That is an intelligent mm -hmm. argument. Brother, brother, who wrote that? I don't even know who wrote that. Well, what? I mean, I know it's in Sahih Muslim. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm reciting scriptures. I'm reciting this. No, okay, I respect I'm reciting scriptures from... You're Sahih Muslim. Look, let me get the vibe. Muhammad found her when Aisha doing her menses, meaning her period was on. He took his damn finger and stuck it in her vagina. Nah, brother. What her period's on. Come on, brother. Hey, Think, man. this Think. is not my words. What am I quoting? And it is not my words either. Sahih al Bukhari. And, and, and whoever wrote that and said that the prophet one, Muhammad did it, but where's the proof of what they six. say? Where's the proof of all of this? That with all this negative stuff they said the prophet Watch did, this. all this child molesting things that he wrote, he copied the Quran, as you said. He, Watch this. But, but yet he couldn't read and write and he is right. and his I, whole life. And our book, so I don't know. Is it lawful if, for an Israelite to have sex with a woman on her period? No. no not, yeah, watch and, and, and it's not unlawful in Islam for a man this. to have sex with his wife. Watch this. Let's see. It's unlawful in Islam. We, we're not even supposed to be around. Muhammad, the same thing in Islam. <laughs> uh, same thing. Muhammad likes to have intercourse with Aisha and his other wives when they was ministering, meaning on their period. Now, Sahih yes. Muslim, book zero, zero, 003, number 577 through 579. Brother. This is a, I, 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 know, no, I know that's what they said, but that doesn't mean it's, like I, I'm going to stick to my guns, um, soldier. Look, I, I read those hadiths. I'm saying I don't agree. Look, any intelligent man, spiritual man, righteous man, when you read hoopla like that, it's hoopla. To me. So the sun is hoopla. No, I didn't say that. That is the stop. Right? But it, is this a sunnah no, though, the, right? The sunnah is not hoopla. Uh, then this is sunnah? The sunnah is, is not hoopla. Bro. But is this in sunnah? Yep. Yeah. That's what they say. That's is this in sunnah? They, they say that in Sahih Muslim, that's written. Again. So, that he did that. So. But yeah. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. Again. I, just I have because, a copy. I just bring because somebody today. say something. I have a copy of Al Bukhari. I got, brother, you got to bring me that. It's in the book. You know that. It's in the book. Okay, here it is. Here it is right here. Ready? Right. Now, now, I read the book of the prophet Isaiah. Peace be upon him. All right. Now, in Islam, we're taught that every time we mention a Hebrew Israelite's name, a prophet of the Most High, Yahweh, to follow it with peace be upon him. Or shalom at the end, huh? Yeah, peace be upon him. That's Islam. We, we have to do that. Automatic. If you say Abraham or Ibrahim, you got you got to say Peace be upon Abraham, after you mention his name. And any other righteous and prophet and messenger. Now here's what Isaiah says. Chapter 7, verse 20. In the same day shall God speaking himself. Capital L, not a, not, a, not a lowercase L. Capital, meaning the creator. 
And the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor. Where are, you, where are you getting that from? I'm just, it's just, I'm, I'm just ready. Well, the, the, the Seven, word, the, the no. word Lord, let me understand. Let me get oh, okay. some understanding. Yeah, yeah. The word Lord is not talking about Yahweh right there. So it's not talking but, about God. Uh, hold on. Okay, what Lord is it talking about? It could be talking about. Because capital L in the scripture, listen, capital that. L. Hold on, brother, let me finish. I, I could, look, I'm ignorant. Sarah, I don't know. Sarah Educated. referred to Abraham as Lord. Okay, well, no, no, I know no, that. Yeah, I know that. Watch this. Look, the, the, the English call themselves Lord. Lord Dunbar and Lord well, this. What was that verse no. you just read? So, it's, right here. There's some Hebrews so, that, that, that agree with each other. I, I, I understand that. So, brother, look, man, I, I understand colloquial now, English. Now, watch, watch this, watch this. I'm just telling he you what it says. Read, he didn't even read the complete sentence. No, I read the whole thing. I read the whole thing before. No, you didn't watch this. Go. What he's reading is Isaiah... 7 verse 20. Mm -hmm. It says, In the same day shall the Lord say with a razor that is hired. Mm -hmm. That is hired, right. namely, by them beyond the river. So he's talking about saving himself with the razor. Yeah. He's okay, talking well, about he the going? hired servant. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that, that, well, beyond well, hold the river. On, hold, on, the brother, most hired. hold on, brother. Yeah. Stop. Watch this. Yeah. Now, you know what? Hired? No, no, no. Yeah. Another brother said the same thing to me a dozen times over the years. Same That's not what they're brother. Watch this, watch this. Okay, wait. I agree, brother. I'm not going to disagree. All right, sir, listen, 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 listen. And the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is higher. Right. That the Lord shave with a razor with that the, is higher. That is higher. Uh -huh. Keep reading. Namely, by That's them. So, namely means namely chiefly, these. Chiefly, namely, chiefly, meaning whoever. Chiefly. Whoever. No, it means these. No. Okay, these. It don't mean, no, I don't mean you love. It means specific. It's specific. Okay, specific. specific. Namely, by them beyond the river. Them beyond the river. Watch it. By the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the beard. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's talking about. Meaning, meaning shade. Now, I'm going to ask you. The, the most high okay, shade. Okay, okay, well, who is the Lord in this? Well, is well, it a man? Is well, it a well, king? Watch this, watch this, who is it? Uh, 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 who, who are they talking about that shaming? Because it can't be the creator. Uh, that's real it got to be a physical man in the flesh. Probably got to go back because, to, the, to be, the beginning. Be, 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 because men shave. That, that's real easy. Watch this. Right? Genesis the 19th. Men time. shave with their beards and mustache. But the most high is a man. Okay, what well, I'm, I'm saying, does who, the Lord in that scripture, is it is it is it the creator or is it a man that's called Lord? I'm about to prove it to you okay, right now. I'm listening. Watch this. Genesis chapter 19. <clears throat> no, actually 18. 18. And the Lord. Now, now we know. Now we, we we know according to scripture that no one has actually seen the most high. Nobody. They they've right. seen Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. but no one has seen Yahweh. Right. Nope, because nobody. the scriptures say no man can look at the most high and live. Mm -hmm. So the scripture will be contradicting itself if we thought that was talking about the Most High. Watch this. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. So, when these men came and appeared before Abraham in the tents of Mamre, one of them carried the attributes of the, of the Lord. It's just like this brother saying right here, you know, Many men are actually referred to in the scripture as the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sarah referred to Abraham as, as the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. So it's just someone caught um, carrying the attribute of the, most of the high. Lord. But it's okay, not so, talking so, about so, so the, the scripture. I, I just the, told him that some Hebrews call other Hebrews that follow on customs Lord. Right. When the scriptures is referring to the most high, it would say the Lord Yahweh. Power. Right. Right. In this English translation, it's going to say the Lord God. Right. Okay. Now, um, All right. Well, listen, brother. I'm just telling you what's written. Right. I didn't write it. So, so we, we so, just wanted to give okay. them clarity. Okay. So let me just say this. To, to, now, since, since he said that. I got some more, that, man. I that, want to bring this up. That, well, come on. Bring, bring it up. All right. So go. All right. <laughs> Muhammad. He also recited the Quran. Remember yeah. the brother said that. Yeah, fine. It's forbidden to be by the woman. When she's on a menstruous, right? Khan. He also loved to recite Quran when, when, when his wives were on the menses while lying between their legs. That's from Sahih al Bakari, Volume 1, Book 6, Number 296. So he'll and recite the Quran while he's between his wife's legs? Between their legs while they're menstruating on their period. While they're cleaning themselves. This is Quran. Muhammad married, check this out. Ma mm -hmm. Now watch this, watch this. Muhammad married his adopted son's wife 
Zainab, after lusting for her, then ban adoption in I just, Islam. I, I, listen, brother. Is adoption banned in Islam? Can you adopt no. someone else's um, son? Uh, adoption in Islam? Yeah, it's can you adopt, can I adopt someone else's son? No, it's not permissible. Look, it's they will tell you that's that man's wife. No, no, no. I mean, that, that's that man's son. No, no, no. As an orphan, as an mm. orphan, and, and as an orphan in Islam, like this brother here, the your Abraham brother here, orphan. right? I'm not <laughs> adopting him legally. Um, you know, the, you got to go to the courts and find out paperwork. No. Take, take but, but, but I'm taking him under, under my wing to teach him, this young brother here. Watch this. So in that sense, yes. Now, hold on, but let me finish ask you a question. Now, and this nonsense yes and no, about, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, move. yeah this, this nonsense. Yeah, funny, this man. nonsense. No, 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 no. This, this nonsense. Do you know how he was saying to me earlier when I was asking him about the Shabbat? What? Yeah. And I can show you the text where my brother sent me and said, who's telling you this stuff? Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm saying, this, I'm reversing it now back to him. You know, whoever's writing this nonsense. This and, is from Hadith. Hadith. Listen, I'm telling you. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm, I'm God telling he wrote you, it. Brother, 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 God brother, brother. Just because <laughs> Bukhari wrote something and Sahih Muslim wrote something in the Hadith, these are more two men. Look, I can quote J Jeremiah 8.8 8 about telling one in the Hebrews, Israelites, beware of the scribes, the men of knowledge, because they take the pen of their own will, not Allah's will, not Yahweh's will, and they write whatever they want to write. Who says this? The prophet Jeremiah. Peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying the same thing. We Muslims have to beware of who wrote the hadiths. We have to beware because of men of their own learning. So I'm saying, me personally, I could never accept. I'm not speaking for no other Muslim but myself on the planet. What he's telling me, all this unnatural, you know, this, what he's quoting to say, what the hadith is saying. What the hadith is saying about the negative part about the prophet Muhammad. This is why I don't follow the prophet. To me, it doesn't coincide with my spirit. And, 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 and that when the, 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 the God that I believe in, that the same God that Muhammad, that the Prophet Muhammad follows, I, for, I don't believe that Allah put that in his breast, in his heart, in his spirit, to, right. to, to, to pedophile so you know, and to be a child molester. And, or, in fact, so you even to, or, or to even think like that. I got one question. All that stuff was customs and culture. One question. So a lot you, of that stuff is that crept into Islam. You understand that Islam came from Ishmael, right? I understand that they teach that yeah. the most. Yeah, I understand that. Right. That Islam came from Ishmael. Yeah, basically it came from it came from the sinners of Ishmael. Okay, the Ishmael. Yeah. Right. Abraham's first son. Right. And you know that you come from the seed of Shem. You know that you're a Hebrew. Why why I, why would you I, even I, follow it? I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. And you know, because yeah. my spirit. I'm gonna ask you a question, bro. Because as a Muslim. With my limited understanding of Torah and Zabor and Injil and Quran, I said before, and I'm going to say it again, we believe in all the scriptures of God and all his prophets. And we believe in the truth that's in the scripture. Not everything man wrote. There's 300 different Bibles with different sentences gone, paragraphs gone, Words deleted. I can give you overwhelming evidence of that. So as a Muslim, the creed of our faith is to believe in one God who created the heavens and the earth and the universe. And all, all the scriptures, meaning the Torah, every scripture, even the lost books that they took out, we Muslims accept that. As long as it's the, you know, when you read it, you know, the book of the, the Apocrypha, we believe that. So... All I'm saying is, to my brother Tazada, like he said to me in the text, when I asked him about the Shabbat, I knew Shabbat, all that stuff, the Europeans made up all these ritual practices. Mm -hmm. I didn't read none of that in, in Torah, what they're doing for Shabbat. Mm -hmm. None of it. Mm -hmm. Lighting candles, taking up some, they even got a, a cover to go over this, the, the, the uh, hala bread. Mm -hmm. I say hala, I think y'all say color. But the hala bread. I've never made hollow bread. I'll eat it though. I've eaten it though. I went and bought some one time from years, years ago. Okay, the hollow bread. It's like it's like it's like braided, like 
and the two loaves they say. Mm -hmm. Now, why do they say two loaves? Why not just one loaf? I mean, look, we can just throw questions forever. You're supposed to double your portion on, on the Sabbath. Okay, see, I, again. Because you're not like Elder Tazad I told you earlier, you're not supposed to cook on right, Saturday. Right, right, right. Well, so according, you double your portion the day before. Right. Well, according to them, this is what they're doing. So, brother, look. This is, I'm glad he's, he's bringing these points out. Because I'm going to stick to my gun. When somebody says something, have them produce the evidence. Prove what you say. Prove that. Because the hadith says, they say, these hadith says that the prophet did all these despicable things. This is what makes him a, a, a killer and a, a, more, a, a whoremonger. And, you know, just the, look, watch this. I don't, I wouldn't even, I can't even think. If I read something about Mos, Mo, Moses, Musa, Moshe, Elias, if I read something about him, say, say some sicko, they found something 2,000 years under the cave or something. You know, it came out the news Monday morning. And they said, well, here's some writings about how Moses lived. And they wrote stuff like he slapped uh, Miriam around. And, you know, <laughs> he urinated on his on Joshua one night while he was asleep in the tent. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, I'm serious. Because if, if, if I read something... Yeah, I got a little more to bring up. Okay, go. If I read something like that about any prophet, I wouldn't believe it. Why do they consider it? I just wouldn't believe it. Yeah, let, let me bring out a little more. Brother, they consider the, 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 the Torah authentic. But you know, today, y'all, they say the, the Jews, they got the world believing that Shabbat, how they doing it is, is the real way, is authentic. But you, according to you, brothers, absolutely Edomite nonsense that they made up is absolutely false. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Muhammad having sex with his dead aunt in the grave. Now, brother, that's not. See, so I wouldn't even let entertain me, let me that finish. stuff. Let me finish. But it's in the hadith. It's not in the it's in the um hadith. I Muhammad put on my shirt that she may wear clothes of heaven. I slept with her in the coffin, meaning the grave, that I may lessen the pressure of the grave. She was best of Allah's creatures to me, Abu Talib. The Prophet was referring to Fatima, the mother of Ali. Not this Ali back here. We're <laughs> talking about the commander of the faithful. Right. <clears throat> the Arabic word used here for <laughs> slap <laughs> is <laughs> the, the Arabic word <laughs> that's um, used for slept with is in tajik and literally means to lay down, but is usually and often most interpreted as lay down to have sex. Mm. So basically, according to this hadith, they're saying that Muhammad has sex with her in the coffin. Hmm. Muhammad and Quran sanctioned sex with your wives and marry slave girls. There's a lot of um, scriptures on that in the Quran. Marry um, slave women. <clears throat> Muhammad forces a 17-year-old Hebrew Israelite girl to marry him and rapes her on the day her husband and family are killed in battle. Um, that's Sahih Bakari, Volume 5, Book 59. Number 522 in volume 1, book 8, number 367. Al Tabari reported in his History of Al Tabari, the Victory of Islam, translated by Michael Fishman, that even some of Muhammad's wives and companions were shocked that he forced Sifiyaha to marry him after beheading her husband. That's the Hebrew woman. Hey. Yeah. Awesome. And father. Now, here's some confessions from Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad's confession. I have fabricated many things against Yahweh, against, he said, Allah, and have imputed to him words which he has not spoken. What? This is what I'm understanding. This. this is Al Tabari, the history of Al Tabari, volume one, um, six, page one. One, one. Here's another quote, a confession from Muhammad. Then Gabriel came to the apostle and said, What have you done, Muhammad? You have read to the people something I did not bring to you from Allah. Mm. And you have said that which he said no. This is by Ibn Ishaq, Sarat Rasul Allah, page 166. Mm. See, this is Muhammad confessing. Now I have another question. 
to ask someone for in the Sunnah. <clears throat> Why have they changed the rights of Hajj? You know, um, because, you know, if Allah says in Quran, Surah 22, Ayat 67, to every people have appointed rights and ceremonies, and why have they changed how Hajj takes place? <clears throat> and my answer, my presumption is because they do not read the Quran and respect the words of Allah as they claim to. They take man's own words and they make them equal to Allah. And this is one of the reasons that I, I left Islam. Because I wasn't hearing a lot about what Allah says to do. It was, all, it was always the Prophet said this. Um, um, Rasulullah says this. It was always about what Muhammad said, mm -hmm. what Muhammad did. So they made the words of a man equal to the words mm -hmm. of Allah. Mm -hmm. So I used to question them when I started to re learn to read Arabic. I say, why do you always say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad or Rasulullah? Is that not setting up partners with Allah? Because at the same time they're mentioning Allah, they're mentioning the Prophet also. Mm -hmm. So I say, shouldn't you be saying, La ilaha illallah, wa Muhammad or Rasulullah? Right. And Muhammad right. is his Prophet. Right. Are you not setting up partners with Allah? They couldn't answer. They didn't know how to answer it. Another question. The black stone. Now, Bala Ali, was a black stone always considered to be black? No. You talk to a Sunni Muslim, Sunni Muslim, someone that's following the Sunnah, they originally tell you that when the black stone came down from heaven, it wasn't black. Now, my first question to that is when I read that, I said, but hold on. I thought you said heaven wasn't a physical place. So if heaven is not physical, how can a stone fall from heaven? Something is not physical. Didn't make any sense to me. And then they they say that there's no racism in Islam. So then why was they making black synonymous to sin? Because they said a black stone turned black after people touched it. So that's basically saying black is synonymous to sin. Same thing the Esau teach. No. Black is synonymous to sin. So they teach Orthodox Sunni Muslims when I said because that's considered to be mainstream Islam. Orthodox, following the Sunnah or the Rasulullah, um, believe that black is evil. Mm -hmm. They say that the black stone was once white, and over the years, it turned black because people touched it, because evil people kissed it. Mm -hmm. So is that not saying black is synonymous to say? Because it was when it was so-called white, it was in its purity. Same things that Esau played on us. Now, Orthodox Sunni um, Muslims um, have never donated real money. I brought this up earlier to any Hebrew Israelite or any other person that wasn't a Muslim. Mm. Why? They're supposed to give a cot. Why? Because they're taught they're not supposed to give to Catholics. They're not supposed to give to non-believers. Because if, if their duty was only to give to the poor, then why are they not giving to poor Hebrew Israelites? Why are they not giving to poor Christians? They only give to poor Muslims. You're only obligated to pay zakat to poor Muslims, not to Israelites, not to mm -hmm. Christians. Don't just ask Brother Ali, ask someone Ask one of those imams that's teaching their um, congregation or they supposed to give to Catholics. No, they're not. He's gonna, if, if he's a true Sunni Muslim, he's going to tell you no. Ask him if you're supposed to follow the two most authentic um, hadiths, which is, again, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, of which Baba Ali is saying most of the stuff, a lot of the stuff in there, it's fabricated lies. But if we're supposed to follow this, so are we supposed to pick and choose what we're supposed to follow out of that and what we're not? And if we're not supposed to follow everything in here, we may as well throw the book away. Because if they lied about the things they're saying the prophet did, sticking his finger up in a, a young girl on a mensage, then how can we believe the other things that they're saying about it? Again, 
another reason. I decided this is not for me. Now, the other thing about it is that Islam taught me nothing about my culture. It was always about what the Prophet did, always about what Muhammad did. It was never a recollection like the Israelites of who we um, are. Uh, who we are. Mm-hmm. Where we came from, mm-hmm. dealing with nationality, mm-hmm. tracing descendancy. Mm-hmm. Islam don't teach you none of that. Mm-hmm. They don't teach us none of that. What they do teach you is racism in Islam. Because every time you see a picture of him, of the Prophet Muhammad, they show him as a so-called pale adder. Mm-hmm. A pale adder. Now, anyone ever heard of the town of Fez? Mm-hmm. And how that came about? You know that feds that people were in their head? Mm, yeah, they yeah. came from Muslims going into a town and slaughtering all of the people, murdering, and bathing the town in blood. So they named the town after the feds that they wore. That's why many people wear the red feds. It's symbolic to murder. the town of fed. It's, it's, it's symbolic to murder. Now, Islam, during the time of the Prophet Muhammad, Anyone that did not convert to Islam was instantly put to death on the spot. Mm-hmm. If you was a Hebrew Israelite, now what Brother Ali is telling us, no, we believe in the people of the book. That's the way that Muslims get people to gravitate towards Islam. That's how they got me in. Mm-hmm. See, the problem with us, black people are always looking for something because they know Christianity wasn't the truth. Exactly. So, Islam, you know, you got people into it. Now watch this. The nation of Islam. I'm going to have to talk about it, man. Bring it out. A so-called white man taught that to them. Mm-hmm. Now, in Farrakhan, now they look at this man as being God in the personage of Master Farad Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Now, they tell you that one of his parents was a so-called Arab, and his mother was a so-called black woman. Mm-hmm. So that makes him an Arab. He's an Arab. But they refer to him as an Arab. Mm-hmm. Now, he supposedly gave the message to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, if you hate the so-called white man, and I'm gonna hit you with something, the pale Arabs that you see over there today, they're nothing but Edomites. Right. They're nothing but so-called white people. Because when you trace their lineage, they're nothing but Ottoman Turks. So when the Turks actually came to power, they came out of Europe and they came down into what they now refer to as Africa and they enslaved many of the people, and the people that didn't com- convert to Islam, the Hebrews that didn't convert to Islam, was instantly put to death. Mm. The Christians that did convert to Islam was instantly put to death. And this is why many people said Islam was spread by the sword. But now when you're trying to compare this to Hebrew Israelites, you can't show me no record anywhere oh, where we Hebrew we Israelites said you could be an Israelite. You have to be an Israelite by blood. Like blood. By bloodline. Mm-hmm. This is why the people that's claim, calling themselves Jews today, we know they, they say they're not Jews. Mm-hmm. They can never be an Israelite. Mm-hmm. That's why it says in the book of Revelations 2, verse 9, those who say that they're Jews and are mm-hmm. not. Awesome. And 3, verse 9, mm-hmm. they are the synagogue of okay. Satan. Mm-hmm. So you can see, you can't convert over to be a Hebrew Israelite. Mm-hmm. So all the Hebrew Israelite camps that have so called white people in their camp, they're not Israelites. They're not Israelites. And those people will not enter the outer court until they first go into captivity, like the Bible teaches. Those, those people are going to go in slavery. Those who lead them into right. captivity. Right. Get Let's go into captivity. Yeah. That's scripture. Mm-hmm. In fact, that's in the last book. Mm-hmm. So you can't dispute that. But Islam, on the other hand, if you didn't become a Muslim, you was put to death. You was put to death instantly on the spot. And that's unrefutable. Muhammad was going around slaying people killing people that did not convert to Islam. Mm-hmm. Again, you cannot compare the Bible and the Quran. There's no, you know, um, there's no um, record anywhere in the Bible that tells us to go out. If this person don't become a Hebrew Israelite, put him to death. What it does tell us is don't deal with them. No. They're not an Israelite, don't deal with them. No. Get them out of your land. Deuteronomy 7 chapter said when you go into the land, kill all of them because they're going to have you worshiping their gods. Mm-hmm. And, and what happens today? We deal with them. Now we worshiping their gods. Mm-hmm. Now we're Muslims. Mm-hmm. Now we're um, Christians. Now we're Jehovah's Wicked. Egyptologists. Mm-hmm. And all of this. Why? Because we're not following 
the laws, statutes, and commandments. Now, one of the other tricks they used to pull on me when I was naive is that the Quran is a little book that's mentioned in the book of Revelation. Mm. They said that little book that came, so I, they're referring to the Quran. So, um, you know, there's no record of that anyway. But when you're looking for something, then you would just set anything. Mm -hmm. and, and so, when the nation of Islam got over to being a Muslim, black people was just pouring in and pouring in because they wanted to identify with something of being black. So what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did, he wasn't even following um, mainstream Islam. Mm -hmm. And those of you that was actually in the nation of Islam and, you know, like, say, like, the 90s and the 80s, you know that the people in the nation of Islam that makes a lot. And you're a damn lie if you're trying to say that they did. Then it makes a lot because they're saying you're being like the pale Arabs. But now Farrakhan is telling them, well, yeah, you should make a lot. You should do prayer five times a day. But initially, when Elijah Muhammad was teaching, they wasn't making a lot. Man. They wasn't um, doing most of what the mainstream Islam does. They wasn't doing it. They don't have a call to prayer. They may do it now. They didn't even worship on Juma on a Friday. They would meet on Sundays. And if you read the Honorable Elijah Muhammad books, he'll tell you that he wanted Muslims to meet on Sunday because most Christians will go to church then. So it's not his right to change what it says in their book, Quran. If it tells them they're supposed to meet on Juma, then that's what they're supposed to do. Now another thing on the Prophet Muhammad, the reason that I said that Islam is basically a fabricated um, copy of the Torah and the life of the prophets in the Bible is because Muhammad, when he was a trader, he used to trade amongst the Hebrew Israelites. Right. And if you look, Muslims fast because what? Fasting came from the Bible. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the Bible tell the Torah tells you to do is to fast and, and pray. pray. Mm -hmm. What did Muslims do? Fast, fast and pray. So they mm -hmm. came up with Ramadan. Mm -hmm. If you look, you see that when Hamashiach Yahawasha was out in the wilderness, what did he do? He fasted for 40 days mm -hmm. and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. This is where Ramadan comes mm -hmm. from. The high holy days. You know, they're taken, they're taken from the book of Numbers. It's, it, it's a recollection of our high holy days. So when Muslims say that they believe in the Bible, for this to be valid, you have to believe in this. Because all of the prophets that's mentioned in this is restated in this. In fact, many of the things that's stated in the Quran is actually taken from the Bible and repeated. So, let's say if Muslims didn't believe in the Bible, then the Quran would have no validity. It would have no validity. But on the reverse side, if we took the Bible from the Quran, the Quran couldn't stand alone. Mm -hmm. But the Bible doesn't need the Quran. Mm -hmm. It stands alone. It stands alone. The Bible doesn't say go and read the Quran. You can't show me that anywhere in the Torah or the Tanakh or what they refer to as the New Covenant. But the Quran will tell, um, but, you know, Israelites or Christians, yeah, we believe in your book. We believe in the Bible. But when you're doing Dawah, you're not supposed to tell them that we also believe that it was tampered with. In fact, in the nation of Islam, if you read Message to the Black Man and Our Savior Have Arrived, they call the Bible the poison book. Mm. Elijah Muhammad called the Bible the poison book. And Farrakhan, even if they call it that, they would turn around and quote from the Bible. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. They turn around and quote from the Bible. And then... If you want to be true, Farrakhan don't even bring the... He don't bring the Quran right, to the... He quotes more from the Bible. Bible. He don't even right. bring the Quran. Right. He'll, 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 he'll quote some yeah. things... From the Quran. <laughs> yeah, but he, he got his Bible near him. He got right. a sword near him. Right. Anytime you see him, he got the Bible. Yeah. So, my point being, now, thinking of all of the hadiths, with this in mind, to all of you black Muslims, thinking of all the hadiths that I brought out today, and thinking that Muhammad said, I leave two things for you, this Quran and my Sunnah. My question that I have for the brother Ali, and I'm going to let him answer it, is how can you, being a so-called black man, 
follow the Quran because to be a Muslim, you're supposed to emulate what the Prophet did. Just like to be a Christian, which means follower of Christ, you're supposed to emulate what the Hamashiach did. There's no record of Hamashiach doing any of the things that Muhammad um, did. There's no parallel. So if you are a true Muslim, you're supposed to emulate Muhammad. I'm if question. he done these things to the young girl, if he done these things to his dead aunt, if he done this to the Hebrew Israelite girl, mm. why would you want to follow a man that of that nature? That's my question. Mm -hmm. And how dare you compare him to a Mashiach to Howard Shaka? Mm -hmm. The answer to the question is simple. It's child's play. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. Well, first of all, we follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. See what he said? Meaning, meaning what he said, what he taught, what he didn't teach, his example, his lifestyle. Now, everything my brother was quoting. Why should a Muslim follow if he did these things to his Aisha and all that language he was using? Look, I can't even let, I can't even, oh Allah, I can't even let my mind conjure up a thought in, the, in my mind to even think of such rhetoric, language of the behavior and why do we follow the Prophet? The white man did that to us. Because, because, I mean, I'm, because any, again, I like to use the word a spiritual man and intelligent man who, who has a clean heart mm -hmm. and striving to please Allah or the Creator of the Most High mm -hmm. to the best of his ability and try to live a righteous life. So that language, I don't follow a prophet or the prophets, but in a sense, that language that he was talking about, the prophet did this and all this crazy But stuff. I didn't say that. The hadith well, said that, right? No, no. I said the hadith I, said I, that. I, I, what he said, what he quoted from those hadith, he repeated it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, any, any sensible thinking man with any degree of intelligence or common sense or rationale or logic were they his enemies? Well, body, That's all I'm, well, I'm, trying to I'm trying to figure out well, who well, writing well, this bad well, stuff well, about well, 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 sure. Like, well, sure he had enemies. No, I'm talking about the person who wrote it. Like,